Whoa. Hey, Nance. Welcome, welcome. Hello, hello. Hope you're doing well. Yes, it is me. I have a new PC. Which uh, means that I can kind of get back to streaming. Uh, this is the first time that I'm doing this on, on the new setup, so I honestly have no idea how everything sounds. So, let me know. Like, yeah. How's, how's the audio sound? Anything too loud, too soft? 78? My person? Wanton? Hello? How's it going? Music too loud? Good to know. Good, good, good to know. Alright, so we can do that. So let's just do it to about that. And we'll drop the alert sound back down. How's that now? Better? Verse? Or the same? Or as my optometrist likes to say, uh, which one is better? Number one? Or number two? Number one? Number two? Which one is better? Number one or number two? <laughs> Fuck that sign in particular. Okay. Um, you know what? We're just going to put on a little bit of... Uh, be bike race happening yeah that's definitely a bike race so I'm gonna let them go and then I'm gonna go back this way well yeah I know I've been gone a while uh, a mixture of real life and um, PC just not even able to to handle doing streaming. So I was like, okay, I'm not gonna try if my PC is literally going to blue screen and crash like 20 minutes in. Which is what happened like two weeks ago. Which I was very, very annoyed about. So... Here we are. And everything looks kind of fancy smanchy. And yeah, like once on it was it was bad. Like so so bad. Um now I wouldn't expect to be dropping like any frames or anything like that, which is fine. Like How's the quality of it? Like, is it, uh, you know, chopping, freezing, like, skipping or anything like that? Or is it pretty good? To be honest, it should be fairly freaking good. Nice. That's what I like to hear. And yes, honestly, at this point, I'm just driving around and around and around to make sure everything is is good and kosher and all that um, and if it is maybe I'll just start doing a little bit of roleplay or something you know, roleplay on a roleplay server <gasps> gasp no how dare I? What kind of mad person would I be doing roleplay on a roleplay server? <gasps> Gasp. Yeah, that was just 
a bike on a bicycle. A cow on a bicycle. That's what I meant. Words are hard when you haven't been doing this type of thing in a while. Okay. Well. Haven't immediately shut the bed, so that's generally a good sign. But before I actually start doing, like, role-playing shit, um, 78, stop, you'll make me tear up, and I'm not ready for that. I appreciate, thank, thank you so much. And, yeah, I saw, uh, oh, fuck that four-wheel drive, um, I saw a notification, like, a while ago, if I remember rightly. Um, and it was basically, you know, please come back, I miss your streams. I knew that I would come back, I just didn't know when. But here I am. So, I appreciate the support, I appreciate, like, I appreciate everyone's thoughts and, uh, and wishes of goodness. I'm really good at English. It's only my first language. <laughs> but, before I start doing, like, roleplay and all that, how is everyone doing? Nat, I see you popping up on uh, on other people's streams every now and then. I appreciate that. Wonton, hope you're doing good. You know, what what is everyone doing? What has everyone been up to? What is new? Bring me back tales from the new world. Game audio is a bit loud. Cool. Awesome. I can do that. Let's just knock that down to about there. Um, and mic will just bump up. No, Wonton, I appreciate all of that kind of stuff. Tell me everything. Yeah. This is... It's honestly part of the reason why I haven't immediately started trying to roleplay with people yet. So that way, uh, if there is balance changes which I need to do, I can. Nat survived a massive storm, like 70 miles an hour. Um, that is... That is incredibly fast. Like, I'm, I'm putting it into context of, like... Uh, kilometers per hour for me you know because I don't use freedom units and yeah my brain immediately goes wow that's pretty fast I think that's like 130 kilometers an hour or something like that so damn uh, hopefully there wasn't any damage that came to your house at all that would be not great I love the shaders that I've got on. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Yeah. <sighs> it's good to be back. Like, similar to what I, uh... 
yeah, like 80 to 112 or so. Yeah. Um, similar to the 20 minute stream that I did like two weeks ago uh, when my PC just crashed and really didn't want to come back. Um, uh, I've been super, super nervous about, you know, pressing the go live button because, uh, you know, it's been four months or so uh, since, uh, since everything, so a little, uh, uh, a little nervous on, uh, on all that kind of stuff. Didn't lose power. Damn. I'm surprised with, like, weather to that kind of extent. I'm surprised you didn't lose power, to be honest. Don't fall off the side. Um, it's not shit chair. It's sit. Oh, that's really bright. <laughs> Sorry. Didn't mean to, like, flashbang everyone with just... Oh, you want to look at the pretty view? Oh, congratulations, you're now blind. Sorry about that. I mean, to be fair, for California to get any type of water uh, at the best of times is, you know, impressive. But for it to be pretty much underwater, that's like, you know, the next 25 years worth of water. Just, there you go. Done. Sorted. Yeah, I can imagine. Uh, Nat, are you uh, also doing a, a little bit of um, modding for for Howler? Or are you are you here? Or are you jumping back and forth? And I guess similar question for you, Wonton. Are you like jumping across to um, you know Scott or Cher or, or anyone like that? Um, also, as another random thing, uh, we are listening to a playlist of bluegrass covers. In case anyone uh, was confused as to what it is that we're listening to, that's it. That's what we're listening to. Okay, so let's just... Right on. Alright, let's try it out and see what happens. Is that I am the one? Dead is not my son. I am the one. Cool. Um, so I don't have any asset fees, that's all good. Still have, still have a decent enough. Alora, the fantasy yeti. Appreciate the follow. Thank you, thank you. Welcome on in. Hopefully you're having a pretty good day. Ah. So at least for the time being, or alternatively until you guys get bored, uh, you're here with me for a little bit. Or alternatively, Scarlet, because I think she's also live. So. Okay. Text message from Scarlet, we'll come back to that.
So, I guess there's a little bit of uh, <laughs> bringing people up to speed on what's been happening in the world of Dirk lately. Um, where do I start? The beginning. Um, yeah, pretty much. Hey, Nico. How you doing? So, where are we at? Well, here we are at Dirk's house. Welcome to the house of Dirk. Um, previously, Raven Porter, good friend of Dirk, family of Dirk, had keys to the house. Also, Liam had keys to the house. Some time ago, about seven months or so, I think, uh, they resurrected the name of uh, the Aztecas. Gang within the city. They got the sign off from, uh, from the people previously running it. And they got the thumbs up. So they started that. Liam was the the leader, and to my slash Dirk's understanding, uh, Raven was, you know, not necessarily too for a second in charge, but she was important. And the number one rule was don't bring shit back to the house. Don't store shit at the house. Don't bring problems back to the house um like don't don't fuck around this is my house i have my own life here like you you can stay here but don't bring it back and it was fine dirk left the city went back home but the rule was the same Don't bring shit back to the house. At some point in time, the situation changed a little bit with uh, the Aztecas, in which there was a gap which happened between the Aztecas and Raven. I don't know the full story. Dirk doesn't know the full story. What resulted in three days ago, three days, four days, something like that, um, Raven was blooded out of the Aztecas by Liam and the rest of the family. Four days. Cool. Thank you, Nico. So four days ago, she was blooded out. One of the neighbors, uh, presumably uh, at the guys across the road, because I always see them peering through their uh, their blinds and stuff they called the cops and the cops turned up and so there was a shootout that happened as a result of the blooding the blooding out which happened like just down here by the way just just there right right on the back patio and all of this happened like four days ago. Yeah. So, since that point, Dirk hasn't spoken to Raven. Not ready to speak to Raven. Dirk has sent various messages out to Liam, basically saying, thought we understood the situation, thought we knew what the deal was and there's stories that or the the two sides of the story there are similarities there are things that line up and there are things which are just opposite uh, opposite details so Dirk doesn't know which side is the truth you know, it's it's a case of there's there's always 
three sides to every story. There's your side, my side, and the truth. So that's a whole thing. Um, with all of this, he got in touch with um, a um, one of the staff who works at the Rose Garden, uh, Madison Bancroft, who is a member of the CPD, and basically said, I need some advice, I don't know who else to talk to. The advice that came back was, speak to a lawyer. So Dirk has spoken to a lawyer, and the lawyer has said, thank you for talking to me, we need to try and get ahead of this. Because, uh, yeah. The fact that the leader of a gang lived at this property, the person who got blooded out lived at the property, and Dirk is the owner of the property. Dirk is trying to get in front of uh, that situation to make sure that uh, he doesn't get put as a um, uh, accessory or anything like that. So that's kind of where we're at. Um, so Dirk has uh, engaged the services of Samantha Sanders, who is apparently very, very good. And, uh, you know, that's, and that's just kind of where we're at at this point. And I just realized what song was playing, and it's hilarious. Um, in fact, that's actually SoundCloud, so let me just turn that down ever so slightly. So, yeah, that's basically where we're at at the moment. A whole bunch of other uh, friends and all, all that kind of stuff in the city. They've got their own shit that they're dealing with. So Dirk has kind of come back from being out of the city for like three months. Kind of just straight into whole bunch of shit. Um, now that that's the neons, that's the halos. So yeah, that's um, that's where we're at. So the whole the whole awkward thing now is uh, Dirk can't go to Hayes Automotive anymore because both Raven and Liam work there. Um, he already hates going up to Harmon Inkers of various reasons. Um, so it's basically, um, you know, autos. Autos or, um, or tuna shop, but tuna shop is like so far away. I really don't like going there. Pop some cash, only got twenty dollars in my pocket. Ah, ah, my come looking for a come This is fucking awesome. Yeah, all right.
You know what? Alora? I appreciate that. I do. Yeah. I do appreciate all of that kind of stuff. But I... I don't need that type of service. Yeah. There you go. The one place that I expected... Scarlet to be. Hey, Dirk. Jeez, I go down to Roosters, expecting to we see you there. Just, we literally just left. I had to come down to Jewel Dragon to get my stuff fixed uh, from Ursula. <sighs> I'm sorry. <sighs> I'll be back soon. No, it's, it's fine. I guess I'll just go back to sleep. <laughs> I'll be back there in like five minutes. Okay, I'll be uh, just uh, chilling, uh, chilling at the moment. Okay, I'll see you soon. Sweet. Bye. Go. Cool. Bye. Hey, Kenji. Why, thank you. Yeah, I, I desperately hope it is, because I have spent many, many several days of agonizing over it. So, yeah, we chillin'. I feel like there's some parts which are just a little too dark but uh you know it is what it is so yeah So now we're just going to wait for Scarlet to, to come back from Jewel Dragon. But aside from that, we're just going to, we're just going to sit and chill. Um, let me get rid of that. Sweet. Yeah, that's better. That is much better. Just like crank cranking the brightness just a little bit, and I may actually even just uh, notch it down ever so slightly. But hmm. Hopefully it's, uh, it's nothing too major, Kenji and everything kind of smoothed itself out. Uh, I've heard a lot of people um, have had a few issues with uh, head pops since, um, um, since apparently some sort of new update came in with like the new GPS. I am not a fan of this GPS. I... I don't... I don't like it. Like, straight up. It's... Yeah. 
It's it's garbage. Um, Shrews. Shrews garden. Yep. So, a lot of the time, anything that happens, um, like on public, is the same as what happens in, um, in whitelist. So like there's there's a whole bunch of markers and stuff which to me nowadays just don't really make sense. Like there's you know, you've got you know, hospital over there, you've got hospital there. There used to be like a hospital over the side. But there's you know, hey, here's a um a PD department that doesn't get used. Like what's... Yeah. But that's... That's just how it is now. <laughs> like, congratulations. You have no choice in the matter. This is just how it is. It's, it is not great. Sorry, cranking that just, just a little bit. Size back. I mean, I'm sure size being back for a while, but yeah, size back. Get told. Yeah. Okay. Have a good one. Uh, if you manage to make it back in, I hope everything goes well. I appreciate it. Yeah, nap. Like, I I had to turn it up just a little bit because alternative genres for certain songs. Excuse me just kind of kind of hits different sorry just had a whole bunch of fluff on the end of the on the end of the mic throw out a ad for, for the arena as well. Actually, <laughs> before I Try and do too much with the arena. I'm actually going to go down to the arena to make sure I still have like keys and access and all that kind of stuff because that would be terrible if hey we've got like nine people that we want to do go-karts or something and then it's just like sorry guys uh, can't do that for you don't have access
here. I think the whole thing is pretty cool, but you know, we just haven't kept on on top of it for uh, getting people to do stuff. So I just want to. Reignite everything. I want to make things cool again. have keys. That's a good sign. So driving me away from you. It's the rain that's down in Africa. Yep, just Oof. Well, this is... Huh. Okay. Right. Nothing at the arena today, because... Uh, Apparently something happened. So... Yeah. Okay. Interesting, interesting. Um... Um, um, moving uh, from the city for the last few months. Um, 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 uh, change, um, So I sent that through, that'll hopefully lead to something, just means that I can't do anything today, kinda sucks. But, oh well.
Ooh. I know something that I need to test. I need to see if I still have the little stole uh, freezers and judders. You, know, you see it on everyone's stream. They drive through Little Soul and they're like, I fucking hate Little Soul. This is bullshit. Always have headaches. Phrases, no stutters, no shutters. Looks like that is a good sign. We like this. On a scale of 1 to 10, how much do we like this? We like this. Dogs on fire. Dogs on fire. Settle down. <laughs> Eric. Get... get wrecked. I'll What's up? Back. I'm doing pretty good. I like the new outfit. Now this this isn't a new outfit. This is uh and go. Yeah. I used to have like a scarf, um, you know, basically got a coat out of, uh, you know, the thrift shop um, when it was snowing a lot. Hello. What's up? What's going on? What's up, Dirk? What up? So, how you doing? What's happening? Oh, what, so what's the hard. deal here? Let's go. Um, go on. No. BB and J. Um, something like that. Yeah, okay, uh -huh. Scarlet. <laughs> yeah, these uh, quantons are just so good. <laughs> the wontons? The wontons. I hate myself. Oh, not the wontons. <laughs> the wontons? Yeah, the wontons are, the, uh, <laughs> the wontons are, um... The... You know, you gotta... They, they, they kinda got sour, you know, they, ugh, they just... What? Yeah, they, they don't, they don't taste that great anymore, so... Mm. Yeah. And it cost want... me a lot of money, like a lot of money. Yeah. Why didn't you fix some fresh? Look, we've we've yeah, tried to fix the Huantons. Yeah, we tried we so hard to fix the Huantons. The Huantons. Yeah. yeah, but, but in the me. end, uh, some Juan uh, <laughs> got a little bit hurt. This is a so bitter, little bitter taste in my mouth. Oh, just, it's, I can't get rid oh, I need this in the drink now. Just... Maybe you should have got two Huantons. Yeah, I just gotta, I gotta get rid of my plate now here. I just, oh, that's better. I gotta, gotta wash away that Huanton. Wash away the wontons, the two wontons. First you take the one wonton, and then you take two wonton, and then you have no wonton, because you, they're just not worth it. 
yeah, get something really else. Worth, worth <laughs> Honestly, I wish I had realized sooner that the wontons weren't worth it. <laughs> oh my god. Up, what do you, what what do you have against Huanton? Um. Oh. Ooh. Look, and, yeah, I and, just found that it's really low quality uh, side dish. That's all. Oh yeah. Oh my. Oh my god. Scarlet, um, do you and I need to talk? Bottom tier. It seems like you're really bothered by the Quanton. You know, I feel like instead of me stabbing it with my fork that. in the back, it just stabbed me with a fork in the back. Oh my. Look, in in my in my personal opinion, from from everything um i think what i didn't like about the hauntan um yeah, baby, how you doing? was that the the hauntans just had a small penis <laughs> oh my why did the one why did the hauntan huh what yeah, yeah the uh <clears throat> oh the, the filling in the hauntan was real disappointing why why did the hauntan have a penis what well, are they putting in the, these hauntons? What should I say? The the hauntan um, peas. Was, he meant peas. Small peas. Was oh, just peas. Yeah. Then yeah. on the outside, I see how penis it looked, was on the mind. Yeah, I mean, it's sorry. Just um, oh, yeah, slip. <laughs> True. Uh, slip of the gob. Um, <laughs> but you know, you you look and you're like. Damn, I'm sure that Huanton uh, is going to be nice and filling, uh, and there's going to be something of substance, and then you like bite into it, and it's just disappointing. Hmm. Mm -mm -mm. Hi, I'm not so, sure if we've <clears throat> actually met. My name's Dirk. <laughs> Probably not, because I think the last time I was actually, you know. I flew out of the city probably Apologies. like seven months ago, so. Oh, yeah. Well, <laughs> welcome to the club. I came back from about three months. Oh, shit. Hell yeah. I'm Hell Brooke, yeah. though. Nice to meet you. What, so, what are you up to? Uh, well, you know, I was going to go hang with some people, but then, you know, Scarlet started talking about some Huantans. Huantans. And I feel like I've missed the whole... Quantons. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I feel like I've missed a whole lot, and maybe maybe Scarlet needs to talk and uh, fill me in. Oh, uh, I mean, I, uh, I can, but I just wanted you to know that those quantons uh, were really disappointing. Let me. Oh, I don't fucking oh. need that. No. Hmm. What's going on? So. Oh. I gotta think about oh. something. Uh, here, let me Sorry, get the uh, I, I was gonna say, I don't really I remember how to work let this place. <laughs> well, I think I was a trainee for about three weeks and then left here, the city take, for the first time and was like, eh, what can I, get you? I, uh, I, can I don't you, need to work here. Can you here. Uh, give me mm -hmm. a large cock combo? But, uh, uh, before, yeah, I'm surprised uh, they I don't didn't fire me. They just have me as an active. Uh, Penny's normally yeah, pretty, pretty good like that. Unless you talk to a manager. Oh, I'm pretty uh, much fired? Yeah, you're pretty much here good. You go. right, oh, thank you. Okay, you I said, guess um, I'm random. Guess I'm yeah, yeah random. Fired. Random's fine, yeah. Well, yeah, it's, yeah, uh, we, no, uh, Penny put it, people are inactive when, like, they're oh. they, they need to go talk to her, basically. And, um, if you haven't done oh, that, then, uh, okay. she'll eventually just drop it, you know? Oh, oh, well, this is, like, literally my second day back in eight months. Yeah, just, uh, send I mean, her just her her yeah, just tell her that. Yeah, yeah. Her that. She's chill. I just, yeah. Oh, fair enough. Trying to get my footing back, you know? Well, what, uh, what did you get up to the last time you were around? Uh, well, to be honest, I was part of a, uh, crime family. But, uh, the whole reason what? I flew out is because that fell apart. Because oh. of me. So, oh. well, it's not like it's really, you know, it's not like, you know, I broke it apart. It was just, there was a lot to do and I was doing a whole lot and I was the only one that was, you know, dirty that, um, it, it just got, 
really overwhelming for me. And then one of my ties broke connection and it was a tie that I worked for, you know, three, four months to get mm. and it broke apart in a span of 10 minutes. Her story so sounds I just super like, familiar. You know, well, that was all I got. And um, yeah, I kind of like stepped out of the family. All respect, like, you know, I spoke to my boss and everything. I was up front with them and shit. But um, then, you know, one of the people that worked with oh, me, yeah, gotta, he was clean, but he worked with me. He ended up uh, hopping on a plane and leaving the city. And I felt I felt really terrible for feeling like I broke uh, my family apart and caused people to, like, move back home and stuff like that, you know? No, I, I get that. Certainly certainly not something i want to do or you know the only other option was me to just pretend i'm happy when i'm not so for the sake of other people being happy and pretend like things were going good but well you know what the wheel a couple times even. you're so, back yeah but that, that's I the main no, thing no purpose you know and i think that's probably the worst thing for me is feeling like i have no no purpose or I worked really hard to build, you know, that side of the family up, but fair enough. Unfortunately, um, if if I may ask, what uh, mm -hmm. what was the family name? Um, people really wouldn't know it too well. It was Camelot, but people wouldn't really know it because we were kind of underground in some of the stuff that we did. I, and I mean, I'm only telling you this because, like, I mean, hell, I'm not a part of it anymore, and it was so long ago, you know. No, fair enough. Well. I mean, if if you at least want we were... a little something to do, do you like flowers? I'm more of like a crime person, if I'm no, being no. honest. I, kn I get that. I respect I think that. I, I think I know what you might be talking about, and that's exactly <laughs> what I did for so long, and it just got so tiring. I know. We just keep talking about our business. <laughs> like, I'm... Oh. Sorry, go ahead. Uh, go for it. Like, if um, if that was important, like, feel free to to answer that. Uh, I don't know. Well, I mean, I suggested it was something to do with flowers to begin with because Scarlet, but then you were like, no, it's not like that. So then my mind, you know, goes to something other kind of flowers, <laughs> you know? No. Man, why do you do this to me? Uh... But because I'm terrible sometimes. Uh, I mean, honestly, I don't really have anything to hide nowadays. Okay. I feel like I've kind of maybe borderline lost my mind. Well, Aww. if you're acknowledging the fact that you've possibly lost your mind, then you haven't lost then it maybe yet. Maybe I didn't lost it. Yeah. Oh, so I'm just, I'm, I could be on the way out, you know? Yeah, like you're you're basically <laughs> circling the drain at this point. It's all it's all downhill yeah. from here. Excuse me, I I keep sipping I'm losing on my, my mind. drink. Okay, well, if you were to walk out of here right now, what would you do? Honestly, I was gonna go fuck with some cops. You not like you know shoot them or anything, but just be a little shit, you know. Fair enough. I mean. Uh, I don't know. I know quite a few cops that haven't seen me in a long time, so it's not like, you know. Fair okay. enough. Well, I know um, uh, you've probably done boosting a million times over, but... Uh, uh, I dislike it. Oh, okay. Cool. Dislike Mental boosting, note. dislike racing, dislike sanitation, dislike chopping, dislike, you know, this, all that shit is just too... I don't know how to put it. Well, I only bring it up because a lot of the times nowadays, cops will turn up to just about anything related to, to a boost and they'll give you hell for it. So if you wanted to yeah, fuck I... with them, that'd be like fairly straightforward way. Yeah, I know, but I mean, that's usually if you're not a driver, you're a hacker, and if you're not hacking, you're driving. If you can't drive and you can't hack, then what's 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 the use of you, you know? Just riding past you, for the sake of riding past you. Yeah, that's that's pretty much the, the seat that I normally fill. 
I try my <laughs> best. Yeah. I mean, honestly, you know, I, I really like um, trying to get to know people in the city, you know? And uh, that's kind of I like you know, where I get at. And my crime days, like my actual crime days, are kind of over, you know? When I don't really want them to be. Yeah. Um, the, you know, like bank The city's and changed like a lot in, mm -hmm. uh, in that time, so even the... Uh, the bank side of things is so insanely yeah. different. And see, I never wanted to commit myself to a Southside gang or anything like that. Like, if anything, I fit, I fit, oh my God, I can't wear it today. I fit more into like a mafia style environment than a Southside gang of sorts, mm. you know? But. <laughs> no, a lot a, of those. Like the Unless you're the Yellow BCF. Page Mafia. Yeah. Not, which I don't like either. I like being, you know, a little bit more underground. Because that's the thing is like, you know, with my family, like I said, is no longer around anymore, which is the only reason I speak about it. You know, people didn't really know us, but we were yeah. doing things in the city. Not banks or boosting or, you know, any of that, but business deals and such. So. Well, for what it's worth, I do hope you find your place, your purpose, your direction. I doubt it. Well, just highly doubt pick it. people up and start rebuilding some of those connections. Yeah. I mean, I don't know if uh, the whole MC life is uh, is for you, but mm -mm. Uh, lost have basically been crippled to I a was, fragment of what they were. I was actually a lost hang around um, at the start of me getting this job, actually. And um, uh, let's just say that didn't work out at all. Okay, lost is off the table. Yeah, MCs just aren't for me either, unfortunately. Okay. So I mean, I, I off. literally, I literally have a very expensive car and no bike. Like I, I value my car more than I do a bike. At the end of the day, and if you're gonna be in an MC, you need to be on a bike. Yeah. Of some sort. So. Right now. Yeah, I mean, right now, I just, I know I'm complaining a lot, but literally, it's like my second day back in the city. I just need to. I think what I need to do is just find my footing again. You know rebuild those connections like you said and um just see see where it leads me yeah and when in doubt just but, uh go back to hunting and fishing that's a mm, joke no that, that's a joke absolutely not <laughs> though i do feel like i need to do some hunting and it fucking pains me so much to think about and Honestly, because I've got 10k to my name with fifty thousand dollar asset fees, which isn't a lot compared to most people. But I have literally, and well, I don't know what class my car is anymore. Yeah, it definitely doesn't drive changed. like an S class. Uh, yeah. What uh, what type of car do you have? I have the Boston oh. and a VSTR, Can I get a, uh, which was an S class and an A class. Large at one point. combos. Yeah, so that's choice. basically going to be like a and I, a and a almost like I a don't B want plus. To off. Yeah. Also, I work here. Hey, sub. Sorry. You're good. Fucking sip everything. Every all the time. Fucking what? sip. Sip fucking up on everything. Oh, yeah. those are some of my old friends. Man. Jesus. Yeah. And an MC too. <laughs> See? Like, yeah. <laughs> What? Like, what, what were you talking oh, for? He, I said, these are some of my old friends. I said, in an MC, too, because he was talking about, like, you know, place place for me in the city and stuff. Oh, and I just yeah. said, <laughs> MC life isn't really me. So it's <laughs> like, <laughs> if I were interested in an MC, like, you know, have very got, close friends. I mean, you already got the offer. It still stands if you ever want to take it. <laughs> so three? I got three if you guys. No. It's just not more. me. Oh, okay. We're in that kind of position. <laughs> Well, 
Whatever in that. I know you're gonna be Should order on a tray. You know, trying to trying to sort something out. I'll continue just you know, whiteboarding okay, ideas well, and just one of you can help them out. You know, see, uh, see if something sticks. I appreciate sticks. you. I really, no, I'm text, really sorry. It seems like I'm protruding down your I'm just gonna put one on the tray. I'm starving. I'm, I can't oh, hear. I, I'm sorry. <laughs> Brooke, I'm sorry. <laughs> Hey, well, there's one meal on the table. Anyways, <laughs> what was I? I don't even remember what I. Was, oh, I. I'm really sorry if it seems like I'm shooting down like all your suggestions. I feel kind of bad for that, but it, it's. I guess it is just I need to just see get my footing again. Oh, that's so good. So I do appreciate your your help and the suggestions you've you know you've kind of made me think you know. Technically speaking, HOA isn't a MC nowadays. Uh, but I did hear that uh, some of the lost members did join the HOA, and uh, some of those people I'm not too fond of anymore. Okay, HOA, we're putting in the maybe pile. No, we're putting in the no <laughs> pile. The absolutely the not. Uh, I do, yes. No offense to them. <laughs> uh, I have okay. Well, BBMC's off the off the pile. Mayhem's nah, off no the BBMC. pile. Uh, nah. I am Rust really good friends with the. Uh, what's that? Rust is technically based on the South Side, but they're not like a South Side gang. Mm-hmm. And then there's like Hydra angels. Right. Could I please have uh, Hydra and angels? Two no. Large cock oh combos as well. That's loud. Play. Yes, please. Shoot over to the side just so we're not standing right in the yeah. middle. This is a conversation that I was not expecting to uh, <laughs> to be having, but oh well. I have had a couple of run-ins with Ray here and there, but I mean, just like every <laughs> girl, right? <laughs> I mean, hell, um, I've had run-ins with Ray. <laughs> he seems really nice, and I like his, like, uh, personality and attitude, and I think that could be really fun, but I, you know, I just, I don't know. That's, that's a, I don't know, you know? Oh, fair enough. Um, I do, I think if any gang, if I was thinking to... If I were thinking of any gang, it would probably be my best bet would be Seaside, just because um, I know KJ, JJ, and Benji, and all of them, you know, yeah. like OG Vago and stuff like that. Like, we, we not so much Benji, but the other two, you know, we kind of go way back. So, I mean, that would be like a maybe as well, but I mean, another thing is like, with the lost with what happened with me and the lost is i think i got about half a million dollars worth of materials as a hang around for them in a span of like a couple weeks like two three yeah. weeks holy shit okay and yeah like whenever i put my mind to something i fucking do it right and i've you know like uh, help them escape custody i've went to prison for them i've shot for them i've got shot for them and, you know, even when they were doing, like, hangaround trials and shit with me, like, I was running up fucking Chiliad while having COVID, right? Holy like, shit. Like, okay. even when I was sick, I was making it a point to wake up and show face. And they cut me from the hangaround program because I didn't fit in. Well, so. I mean, Seaside, compared to what they used to be, compared to what they are now, um, I... I personally think you you should be a fairly good fit for there. Yeah, I'm not yeah. associated. I'm not. I generally uh, have nothing to do with them. Um, but you, did yeah. you say you can't have anything to do with them? Uh, I generally don't. Oh, is that a? Uh, a lot of uh, a lot of friends that uh, I've had, they've had issues and just kind of on um honored principle i mm -hmm. 
I, I try to not have too much to do with them just because of I know how much they've uh, either intentionally or unintentionally uh, caused problems for some of my friends. Oh, okay. I personally don't have a problem with them, but just from uh, uh, honorable principle. Yeah, I get that. I mean, they were your friends, so... Yeah. No, I 100% understand that. The but, friends and family are important to me as well, too, so... Yeah, 100%. Like, I so, get it. Yeah, but outs, uh, outside of that, like, sound, sounds like you've got the potential for a direction. Well, I mean, you know, Seaside's really big. <laughs> Which means they're probably not really looking to get any, you know, like, people blooded in quickly. Or I'm not saying I'm looking for something quick, but I'm also not looking for something that's going to, you know, cost me to, like, do all these fucking tedious activities for the next four or five months, you know? <laughs> no, fair enough. So, I think all that just kind of... It, it, makes me exhausted to think about yeah i mean good just do what uh, a lot of other uh crims have done and uh somehow get an expungement and become a lawyer and then become a judge mm. gross then the other potential that i have which i'm probably absolutely not going to go with is uh the saints because adam is no no just no, no. Adam Prince is actually my day one, you know? First person I ever met in the city. I've known him for like four years. Okay. Like, but yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know. Myself personally, <laughs> I would. I would rather join. Just take it from there. The Marabunta. Then join the Saints. What's wrong with the Marabunta? Nothing anymore. They used to be terrible. They used to have less, less honor, uh, and they just didn't give a shit. Now, I also just gave you food. That I you take. I hold them with a level of respect and esteem. Well, they're pretty much dead. No, they're they're back. They're back back. Oh, are they? Yeah, so... Like, all the OG members, or is it the ones that left Azteca and joined the Marabuntos? Yeah, so it's a combination of both. So, um... Another round? Uh... Jeez. His name's... Well, either his... way, I can't I can't oh. join Marabunta because Gabriel yeah. is my ex. Oh! <laughs> I mean, I have nothing against him, it's just weird to me, you know? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Gabriel is my ex, and I currently date a Marabunta. His name is Dreads. Oh, you yeah. probably yeah, won't yeah. know him. Where you know him? I, I know the name. No. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. That's my, that's my boyfriend. Oh, one ton. This is like, ugh, So spicy. I mean, I already am Dirk's associated with stuff. them because I date Dreads, but yeah. Gabriel is my ex. <laughs> Joining that. I mean. <laughs> Yeah. Even at this point, there's a whole bunch of like yeah. other so weird no-name uh, type oh. groups. Mm -hmm. Yeah, PG-18. Yes, that's their actual name. <laughs> Peggy 18. Yep. <laughs> if you want to piss them off, you just call them PG-13. <laughs> but yeah, they um, yeah. they hold down uh, a bit just next to the Go Postal Building. Uh, there was another group, Just Us. Um, They're still around? They disappeared and came back. Another? Huh. Yeah. You know, another another group I would consider joining, if Mr. Lee ever came back to the city, would be the, uh, what was it? The San Santa Nova? I know, what is it? Uh, SN? Says, yeah, they're, they're gone. It's SN, yeah. Oh, they're, they're gone? Yeah. There's, uh, there's well, a few Mr. people Lee who... Well, Mr. Lee left uh, the city, and, like, he was the leader, and... Yeah. I, don't, I don't know, I guess they just kind of fell off after that. I mean, the, there was quite a few it's people who, uh, um, went back home. Some of them, uh, took trips to the islands and stuff like that. Hmm. 
I mean, I I always appreciated Sassante Nova, but it seemed like they wanted to go after every group in the city and then realized within about Another round. two hours that they were fucked. I think I remember something like that. I remember when they were uh, warring the Vagos. Because I was yep. helping... I was actually helping both parties get weapons. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, yeah. you, you have a very specific set of skills then. Right. <laughs> okay, back to close. Jeez, at this yeah, point... And... At this point, I'm just going to start calling you Jane Wick. <laughs> Well, uh, I did have, you know, I did have friends oh. in the Vagos question is, too, like Baby Loco and is Dirk uh, Carlitos flirting and, slightly. Uh, Deshawn, mm. uh, Dixie, questionable. Lavessa. Oh okay. yeah, um, but uh, did you do know that the Vagos are kind of in a major rebuild at the moment as well? That is. What? Um, do you know, is Deshaun still Vagos, or do you know Deshaun? Um, not sure. How the name doesn't ring a bell. Um, um, okay. But, uh, you know, Speedy kind of stepped All to the side. It's time um, what? Yep. Yeah. Um, Pablo, he's now GG, I think. I don't think I know um, Pablo unless... Whatever it is, you know, if they had a nickname, that's what I know them by. Yeah, something like that. But, uh, no, Pablo's not GG. He kind of uh, got chased out of the city because of the whole Pablo Lotto thing. There was a whole bunch of shit that oh, happened with Pablo. that. Oh, Pablo! Okay, yeah. wow, really? Um, Carlitos, he's okay. out. Um, uh, what's his name? Okay, Frankie? Something like that. Um, mm -hmm. He's out as well. Like a whole bunch of like the, you know, when you think Vargos, you think of like certain people. They're just out. Mm -hmm. they, they're done. I mean, um, I never really liked Frankie to begin with, but yeah, I mean, depends which way the wind's blowing as to whether he's going to be in a uh, a decent, a uh, decent kind of state or not. Um, uh, the ballers have gone through like their third. Rebuild recently. Mm -hmm. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, uh, after Mona left and jumped across to Seaside, um, ballers just basically fell apart. Surprise, surprise. They they had really like Mona was that big of an impact to the ballers because I, I know mean, she was gone for a very long time and the ballers were fine. After they went through a rebuild, <laughs> I mean. The, the situation in the south side has gone uh, so bizarrely that most of the um, like to go again? GSF OGs mm -hmm. they've left and even GSF has gone through like you know a few rebuilds and recruitments that is fucking ugh, that yeah, is like terrible to hear south side life is just you know it, it's basically non-existent and then of course okay, you've got BSK close. with Let's OTT begin. The and are you on good yeah, terms good or bad terms? One. No, no, I'm good on BSK. Yeah. Nope. Okay, that that cockroach is just still somehow still there. Doesn't surprise me. Yeah, like want on so as much. As far as happened. what I've heard, yeah. When Azteca, uh, BSK works. That's whenever I was like really um that's when I was like really uh here like uh waking up often. Yeah. OTT digs his claws into his members and they were forced to do that war. Some most of them didn't even want to do the war, but because OTT said so, they did it and pissing a lot yeah. of his members off and Oh yeah. Um NBC uh like a proper deal nowadays. Uh I'm guessing probably like seven, eight months ago, you know, it was just them causing a whole bunch of mayhem and a whole bunch of shit. They're now actually a proper legit. They uh, hold down part of the uh, the docks down at the Jetson port. 
Oh my, the Russian box? Yeah, Russian box, yeah. Man. <sighs> that's one, that's, that's one of my old families there. Yep, so. I wish the Russians would come back on their boat. Um, I mean, at one point they had a uh, little Moscow uh, embassy just uh, across the road from uh, MRPD. Mm hmm I heard about that. I learned about uh, that a couple days ago, and their bear name Boris. <laughs> oh, yeah. Boris is amazing. Oh, I know that you're not a big uh, angels person, but if you ever meet Charles the dog, who is part of the angels, um, 20 out of 10 would recommend meeting Charles again. <laughs> Why? Because Charles is their dog who just has so much energy he'll come up to you and be like hi i'm charles the dog and you'll be like damn charles you're like adorable as hell and charles will be <laughs> like fuck yeah i am <laughs> so yeah okay um yeah i'm trying to trying to think through of like anyone in everyone else that on uh, paper on paper none of these gangs really sound like interesting to me but what goes farther is like just like you know getting to speak to and hang out with some people and that's kind of what kind of, it will change my mind over time but i i know a lot of people and and all and a lot of these gangs that i'm just like uh you know well i mean Okay, this is like your second day back. Mm -hmm. Maybe it is exactly. just rebuild the, like like I said before, rebuild the connections, reach back out to people and just be like, hey, if you need a, you know, a six person on, on a job or something like that, give me a call. Oh, but there's just, there's some, there's some relationships that just can't be mended though. Yeah. You know? Well... Either that or just make your own initiative. Yeah, I suppose. I mean, it's a hell of a lot of work, but if you know the type of thing that you're looking for, maybe you have to go back to basics and say, all right, this is what we're going to do. I'm pretty stubborn, no. <laughs> <laughs> what? I'm... I don't like change, and I'm stubborn. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no, I mean, there's not really much to say about that. I get it. Like, I'm, I'm just mentally picturing, <laughs> like, you know, socks have to go on in, in the right order. Yeah. <laughs> no, and that's a routine, I think. I mean, like waking up every day, doing the same thing, putting the sock on the same foot every morning didn't, than the other. Do you ever think to yourself, no, I don't have a problem with wearing socks because I have a system. I have a system, so socks don't annoy me. No, I just don't put socks on. It depends. <laughs> if I'm going out and I'm putting shoes on, I'll put socks on. But if I'm in the house, I'm not waking up to put socks on. See, I could wake up and be like, I want to go here. I mean... Eh. Uh, no, fair uh, enough. I don't know how to. I don't know how to defend myself. Actually, it sounded really fucking stupid. No, look, <laughs> trust me. I, I am one of those people who, you know, has a system so that something doesn't annoy me. Oh my, my jacket That's is weird. a little bit, a little bit scratchy. Okay, I'll have a system so that it doesn't be all scratchy. Yes. How Hi. do you make something not scratchy? Layers. Oh, oh, so you wake up and worry about how many layers you're gonna put on so your jacket isn't scratchy? Yep. That like mm -mm. have you know, and the lining of the sleeves is uh, um, you more pull of out like a measuring a... tape and measure the sleeve length each. <laughs> like you're putting on a military uniform. Yeah. 
gotta make sure your patches are equally spaced. Look. <laughs> Shut up, man. <laughs> Being <What>? mean. <laughs> <laughs> no, this one's a little too far to the left. Scarlet said something about drinking. Drinking. Like beverages, like adult beverages. I just can't believe. Oh my god! Oh my god! Why would you talk like that when there's a shelf full of adult beverages right behind you? Well, like uh, Scarlet doesn't drink. Do it on the clock. Yeah, like the, oh. Yeah, no, I. I oh. Don't know. Oh. What? Uh. Yeah, so Scarlet doesn't drink. She she's never done oh. anything wrong. No, of course not. <laughs> Absolutely evil. Um, I definitely to, didn't I'm get fucked to, up for Quint New Year's. Nope. Trying to duck Quentin, all these flies uh, that keep flying around. <laughs> you, you might need to pull out the the mop or something. I think there's a wet spot over the back there. What? From huh? All, all these lies? What, what? No, you kept on slipping over. What is your name, no, by I the way? Du oh, you ducking all these these like Who, false stories. And what is your name? I'm Quentin Chase. I think I met you when you like flew into the city for the first time. Oh yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Why is it like what um what gives you um what what's so? No, I just I just remember you. I don't I don't know why. Oh, I'm pretty unremarkable besides um. I mean, I think glasses. it was because you made a point to like say hi to me and everything like every day or every other day. I don't know. Where did I see you at? Uh, I don't remember. I did see you a few times here, though. Like, you weren't working here, but you came here for food, obviously. Psst. Oh. Chat people. Probably How are we doing? That's probably yeah, I think that's probably what yeah, it was. Sorry, that was like a whole to to big mess. Yeah, I remember you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Sidestepped conversation. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah. Actually, no. You were, uh, you worked with Q a lot as well? Uh, no. No? I was okay. friends with Q. Oh, like working here? Yeah, yeah here, Q, yeah. Uh, a few times. I don't think um, I met you here, though. No, probably not. I don't. Wow. I mean, your name sounds familiar. Psst, psst, or looks familiar as well. Like it's, I mean, uh, I got two first chat, names. Psst, psst, I mean, it's kind of hard chat, to chat, forget. Psst, psst, psst. Um, <laughs> Brooke <yeah. Lexi. laughs> No, I mean, I know that. But, hold but, on, yeah, hold on. I think you're in my hard. phone, too. Let me see. Let me see. Uh, probably not. No, probably not. Definitely I not. I think you are. Definitely not. Look, Quentin, you're important enough to be in someone's phone. Definitely not. I, well, let's see. Let's see. Unremarkable. Your, watch. Uh, watch what here. I tell you. I'm just not in her phone. I'm pretty sure. I'm positive. I would remember if I was in her phone. I would remember. Uh, Quentin Chase. Uh, your oh. last four number digits are three, two, one, three. Oh. Never heard of him. Mm hmm. Mm. I never oh. heard of that guy. Never Sleepy heard of that guy. Oh, God. That's strange. Oh, oh wow. Look what at is that, that noise? Yeah, what is that? I wonder why. No, my phone's not ringing. Oh, why? interesting. Why is your name Brooke Taylor's in my phone? What? Excuse me? It's Brooke Taylor's in my phone. I don't know why it's saved that way. You were hitting on me, and you didn't even put my name in your phone, right? Wow. Well, no, like, I don't know why it's saved that way. Let me look at the text messages and see wondering. what... No, it's not minus <laughs> one. It's, text message, I'm, it's last honesty. text message was a year ago. <laughs> All right, so, okay, wait, 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 wait. Okay, Whenever you're da, back da, around, da, 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 feel free to hit me up. Whoa, whoa, oh, chill, oh. chill. Don't read, don't read okay. that out you loud. Do, this you is doing not, anything no, after work? No. Whoa, no. buddy. Whoa, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Hope you're doing okay, winky face. Stop, stop. That's enough. That's just. Oh my God, is there winky faces? Is there winky You faces? around for a while today? No, yeah, whoa, maybe chill, I'm doing chill. a lot of work for roosters. Sounds good. Chill. Does roosters the need help? Shit, Quentin's got game. Why are you doing this? What is happening? You came at me hot about the I was I... fired thing, you know? No, I didn't say that. I said. <laughs> could be fired if you're inactive. You're pretty much fired. <laughs> well, yeah, if, you, um, if you're inactive. Yeah. Listen here, you little duckling. Fired. Okay, okay. And I told you exactly what to do to fix it. So. I know, uh, I'm just fuck fucking you. with you. Um, I mean, Jesus. I am just messing I'm with you. Really 
Okay, um, I okay, think I had, no. I think I had a boyfriend okay. at the time, so I wasn't really entertaining the whole chat. Okay, um, so, so you made me go fishing with you at one point. Oh, yeah, that's right. I think I took you fishing with some friends. With Zay, stuff. with coworkers. It was Zay and um. Oh, yeah. Work, yeah. Yeah, Zay. What type of car yeah. do you drive? Mustang. Yeah, Mustang, like a very, the, the bow Mustang mm -hmm. or something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember you. I definitely remember you. You yeah. asked for my number. No, I did not. Yes, you did. We met at the market. You texted me first with yes, your, because your name. You, yeah, yes, because you told you, me to take your number or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I remember this specifically. Now, you were I don't very, know. You, if you I asked stood, for yeah. your number, you'd give me your number and I would text you my mm -mm, name, mm -mm, you mm -mm. see? You, you, Okay, you we texted met, your name we with a D. smiley face first. All right, let's get the story right. Let's get the story okay. <laughs> All right, so we met at Dean World. Uh, Did we? We met at Dean World. I don't yeah, trust we, this because I don't remember it. You could fill this story up with a lot of nonsense. Um, again, we met at Dean World because I was working the booths and you were just walk you was hanging out with some people. <laughs> and then oh, you came it's up probably to working me. Rooster's Reef. Yeah, yeah or something. I don't know. And then um, you, you, we chatted for whatever reason, maybe because I was just like, you know, chatty at the time. And, uh, <laughs> you know, you before you there? left, yeah, before you left, you were like, like there's, there's a lot of like, conflicting information we... just trying to make sure I've got it right in my head. And yo, can we what? Yo, can, can, can we exchange numbers or can I get your, I don't, I don't yeah. say shit you, like that. You came on to me. No, I don't. Like, I, I promise. Probably, okay, you probably saw it like that, but I saw it as you being new in the city and not knowing anybody. So I probably got your number or exchanged numbers with you. So if you wanted to do something like fishing, then you had people to go fishing with. I don't that's, just that's like. Plausible. I don't that's like plausible. hit on people like that. That's that is plausible. not a. That is not a brook. <laughs> that is not a brook Lexi thing to do. That's very plausible. Uh, but yeah, you definitely you stood out because like somebody was carrying you as well. Like y'all were about to leave and they were carrying it you. It was probably Wonton. That's I mean, I mean, that's sorry, a name. Juan. Juan. That's well, that's a person's name. Yeah, it was probably Juan. Do we? Do I know this one? There's a one. The one. There's a one that works here or something. <laughs> one, two, three, four. <laughs> wow. Okay. One, one, two. Um, hold on. One, two, three. three. One, two, three. Yeah, I don't know a one. Anyway, yeah, somebody was carrying you, and as you were getting carried, you were like, "Yo, can, um, <laughs> this, I have this your is number." I don't think I like said that. that. Yeah, well, somebody the was the greatest, stupidest you. thing. I think I think and you asked for, for my number because mm -mm, that would be no 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 hold on hold on that would hold on. That. That, would, that would be the only reason it made sense that you text me your name as your first message. Why would I? Why would I take you? <laughs> no, I'm pretty uh, sure. I mean, maybe you gave me your number to text you. But I don't no. remember straight up asking. Seeing the message, the 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 whole the whole paper trail here, it looked like you're kind of trying to slide in. I don't you know? remember. I don't yeah. remember asking for it. Oh, I can read it all to you. <laughs> no, 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 no. You don't have to. Um, you don't have to read it. Fanfic. No, no, I, I appreciate you. <laughs> Thank weird. you. I don't know why I had your last name. I hope you're doing weird, good. Though, yeah, uh, I don't. I don't fucking know. That's insulting. No, it's not. I have two it's first a, names. Yeah, I don't remember. Um, yeah, I don't know why I don't remember the Lexi part of that, but um, I'll fix that right now. Or well, I've already fixed it. What are you guys writing on these notepads? They're writing Look, way too there's, much. I know that much. there is a lot of conflicting information. I, for one, am just trying to understand everything properly. I have oh, no so idea what the fuck. Supposed to be on she... my side. It doesn't make sense for me to ask for him his number, but he texted me first with his name, right? You gave me your number. No, I think you asked for my number. <laughs> mm -mm, no, I'm pretty sure I didn't, because I wouldn't. Meet, I wouldn't first meet somebody. The first time I meet somebody, especially at that time, I wouldn't. Especially a woman, uh -huh. I wouldn't go okay. as far. Okay. Well, I, let's let's see here on this on these text messages again. All right. <laughs> okay, you can so you can no, just we, you read enough. You read enough. I think everyone. <laughs> I think the classroom has gotten the story. I don't know. 
seems and like you know you're a what? little we misleading. Can, uh, no, no, no. We could just both be um, correct in this situation. <laughs> we can just both be correct. I don't know. Or I'm, incorrect. When I know I'm right, I want to be right, you know? Uh, I'm not that I'm not that competitive. You can you can win if you want to win. <laughs> That's fine. Dark's exciting. What are you what are you writing? What does that say? I mean I I drew a picture of a dodo. Because they're kind of fat and dopey looking. Give me that. No. No. <laughs> no, look, it's What's Ow, it fuck. No, it's yep. it, it's my poetry. I I write poetry. Stop it. Hey, can I get my usual two CPD meals with the sure, okay. stop. two uh, donuts, please? I'll have the two beef wellingtons, whatever they are. Okay. Oh. Two donuts. What what do you want for your side? Uh, the pho is it? I don't know. Pho. Whatever you want. Pho. Yeah. Pho. 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 And um, what pho. you drink? Uh, chai. Whatever. Chai. Whatever. All right. Cool. And you're not ordering anything extra, are you? Uh, no, not today. Cool. You want to buy a scratch-off ticket? Uh, no, I'm broke. <laughs> hey, what's up, Percy? Okay. Uh, okay, I mean, have they been there all day? Or are they growing, or what? I wonder if Thank she remembers you. I wonder if she remembers you. No, probably not. Okay. Oh, hey, Mike. What's not really that memorable, though, like, you know? Probably. This... Uh, I'd just burn it. It's up to you. Well, I mean, from, from everything that we just heard about, uh, she would... okay. the, the she taste between you and Quinton. Yep, cheers, thank you. Bye, mate. Nova's a, it's Nova's a sneaky little one, all right? Like, you know, when I thought nobody was around, I'm sitting there, I'm like, <laughs> I'm ready my sand chest through the city, and she'd be like, Brick! Fuck, I'm just yeah, me. it up. How, how do you expect me to gas up my sand chest if I can't get on the street? It's like, I better not see you on the main road. Yeah, I hate <laughs> sand chesses. I can confirm, I hate all bikes. You make me ride a bike, and I hate bikes. <laughs> No, every time you pulled me over, though, I stopped. Like, I was respectable. That's I think you, you pulled me over um, coming into the city. It's so and hot in the room I that I'm in. You got off it's and you made me walk gross. all the way back to the main part of the city. Right. Yeah, yeah, people are generally nice. I generally tend to be nice back. It's when they uh, yeah, run away that, you know. Yeah. I then I have to beat them kills. with my stick. The beat stick. Um, um, what? Yep, beat stick. <clears throat> I think Quinton's a little bit flustered. She likes beating people with the beat stick, right? Okay, just make sure I heard that correctly. Yeah. How have you been, Nova? Me, I'm alright. Never bad. It's good, it's good. How's the, um, how's the shift so far? I mean, it was a big, I just um, woke up. Oh, you just woke up. Well, welcome. Yeah, I just woke up. My phone's already going off. Yeah, welcome to the war. The war? Jesus Christ, there's a war? No. What war? Oh my yeah. god, I better get shooting people. <laughs> Alright, bye guys. Hold it down. People love to overreact in the city. It's lovely. Oh my god, there's a war? No, we don't talk about the war. The war I never that, happened. I did that to Jeff. I did that to Jeff one time. I just had him spooked the entire day. He was just, Aww. he was just spooked. What war? Cool. Okay, and you just ruined it. Thanks, Tony. <laughs> <laughs> no, so, get up. You're laughing. You're laughing. Get up. Get up. <laughs> Why are you being dramatic now? You're laughing. I know you're laughing. I was, I was supposed dramatic? to go hang out with people. <laughs> oh, yeah? Yeah. Aren't you, aren't you doing that right now? Well, other people. Oh, damn. Okay, we're not. Yeah, was, I, well, I kind of came here to get food, and I was gonna be on my way, and I kind of ditched them because I was talking, and yeah. Did you ditch them? Yeah, to I kind of did. With us? Or did you not, not with, not with you. Okay. Right. Don't want you to, you know, get the wrong idea nah, and all, you know. Hey, those text messages will continue. <laughs> I feel bad. I'm well. just kidding. 
the one thing that we did but learn is, is mean, uh, so. <laughs> depending on what day of the week it is, Quentin either has good game or he has nothing. <laughs> it's really just a time of day. I'm pretty moody. Uh, but this is, I know you probably didn't get to know me much but back then, but this is kind of how I am. I, I, I just like to joke and fuck around with people, so... No, no, uh, I literally we, don't take anything I say seriously. No, we we did the fishing. Um, it was a cool. T it was cool meeting you at Dean World the way we met, and um, then you you know you dipped. You said you, I don't know. You said something was going on, but then you know you actually really really dipped. And um, <laughs> yeah, you told me the story about your Mustang, and um, yeah, you were just cool people to meet. Oh, okay. I don't remember any of that, but I do wait, have wait. memory issues. <laughs> so, Quentin, she oh. said that there was something important. Where, did she say, like, she had to wash her hair or something, or, like, vacuum the cat or, no, or just something like that? No, like, just, like, something that just, like, where there's time in the city, <laughs> schedule and stuff like that. It was just, schedule, like, you know, scheduling stuff. That's it was probably okay. business. Yeah, that people talk about, but you don't really try to talk about too much, you know? That type of stuff. No, fair enough. Okay. And, um... You know, she was cool to meet. It was just a cool person to meet and like it just helped me honestly it helped me meet some other people with roosters and kinda of led to me end up working there in a way. That's kind of how I like to like like when new people when I see new people like just hopping off the you the, know, the plane the or something and they look like they're a little lost and I I do try to like I help them. I, I, I'm not I, saying I, that you like a lost little puppy. I'm just saying like okay, you didn't know you anybody puppy in this. In Why'd you throw puppy? Because in there, you're like... just like getting offended that I said well, you lost. You just said lost at first, but then I'm a lost, lost puppy. Lost meaning like you didn't really know anybody in the city. So they well, why gotta be a lost puppy though? I didn't say that. I, I was saying I'm not. My, never mind. Okay, never I'm, mind. I'm, fu I'm fucking with you. I'm just never mind. Uh, you're I'm making me mad you. now. You're no, making me mad. You, but I'm, I'm fucking with you. <laughs> Look, I can dish it, but I can't take it. All right. So stop. Just kidding, but um, yeah, I do try to like get people to oh, oh. meet and stuff. Hey. What are you drawing this, Scarlet? No, nothing, nothing, nothing. No, you have such Scarlet? artistic skills. Nothing, nothing. Then no, you have such artistic <laughs> skills. What, what, what do you mean? I don't Why does a puppy <laughs> have such big eyes? <laughs> what do you okay. mean? Okay, Scarlet. Oh, I wore glasses. Think? You just I wore glasses. Me. Okay. What, what glasses. is your impression of me? Well, I'd probably remember wow. your name properly. Oh, that's a start, you know. Uh, no, you at least I'm not Brooke Taylor's. <gasps> hey, wow. You gotta respect. You gotta respect <laughs> my honesty. You gotta respect my honesty. At least I just got it out there. I mean, and I could have just lied. I could have just lied and just like kept it as Brooke Taylor's and never said anything. <laughs> yeah, that, that's true. You know, you seem like a decent person. Had a laugh. It's always good. Okay. A plus boost. Oh C plus God. boost. You turned into one of those. Now today, I, these days I just sell them because um, my my partner, she retired. Okay. Didn't retire, okay. She's an old lady. Oh now. wait, you 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 two are dating? What? No. no, we're. Oh, partner, as in like, okay, I'm sorry, I am homework so sorry. Yeah, homework, yeah, so we, do sorry. we do our homework together. We do our homework together. That was study uh, buddies. that was rude of me. Whenever someone says partner, I just think it's like they're you know they're couple. Yeah. Yeah, that's um. Maybe you shouldn't yeah. call her your partner. No, it's a very human thing to like assume that, so it's okay. <laughs> well, do you, do you do that so people do assume that you're partners? I think people assume anyway, regardless of what word I would have used there. Um, True. So it's um, it's kind of oh, okay. like it's kind of like just let people assume and then like <laughs> okay. correct them when they um, you know, say something that's not correct. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's all. <laughs> Whatever you say. I mean, it's nothing you can do about people's assumptions, you know. Now I feel awkward, so I'm probably gonna make my exit. No, don't feel awkward. <laughs> Jesus, stop. <laughs> Jesus, stop. Wow. I think. Wow. I think it's time for me to go. <laughs> okay, That's so Brooke good. Taylor's. I don't have your number though, so can I get your number? Yeah, sure. there you go. You need I'm two eight two three. Lazy, so here's mine. <laughs> oh, see, look how easy, like so easy she just get like. That's what she did last time. She just, she's like, Shut oh, here's my up, number Quentin. and text me. Wow. 
Okay. Good to see you. <laughs> Put, putting you on the Become phone is Jane good, Wick. You know, make sure you're not inactive. See? Exactly. Exactly what happened. <laughs> no, she came on to me. Like, she didn't, like, come on to me, but she, was, she did exactly that. It was like, oh, here's my number. Like, she literally came. She was leaving, came back. Her friend grabbed her and tried to, like, walk her away. Like, he carried her okay. away. But as she was getting carried away, she's like, hey, you should have my number. So, and text Brooke me your Lixie? name. Two first names. Whatever, whatever. Two first names, Because we, we had a conversation before that. Mm -hmm. And that's what, yeah, that's that's how I met her. You know, it'd be really funny is if that person actually was one. <laughs> well, y'all kept, it's, a, it's, another, it's another one that works here. I don't really care if it, I don't really care to know exactly which one it was. It might have been him, yeah, now that I think about might, it. It might have been it why he was always might so, have been like... <laughs> so anti against, yeah. <laughs> So Dirk, I don't know you weren't you weren't around, but like when Juan first, well, I guess you were. You had just got back, but uh, he was an employee here. But every time Scarlett and I would talk, yeah. he would um, he would either a interject like the conversation harshly to where it, you know you just have to change the topics, or he would be hiding the corner until like, in the you know send Scarlett like food or something until she gave him attention. All right. Um, as if like it was some type of intimidation or some type of competition. And we never talked about it. Uh, but it would be funny if that was him that was carrying her that day. I mean, maybe. Also, there's a person like uh, sitting in the back. Pontons. Oh, that's Grace. Oh, okay. Yeah, Grace Daniels, she works here. She's a lawyer as well. Oh, sweet ass. I was like, I just noticed them during that. And she's in, um, yeah, she's in Ron, she's a Ron Oil as well. I'm surprised she don't have her ad up today. Yeah. Uh, speaking of ads, I was uh, planning on trying to push the arena stuff. I was like, I haven't actually gone down to the arena to make sure my, like, keys and swipe access still work. Yeah. And I went in there, and it looked like uh, someone had shoved the uh, the guys who look after all of the maintenance and stuff. Um, someone had shoved them into, like, locker cabinets. So I've kind of asked the question on that, but basically means can't do go-karts right now. Well, they had a concert their last storm. Um, uh. Um, yeah. I mean, uh, did you go this storm to go check, or? Yeah, went this storm. Okay. Yeah, I mean, unless um, there's something you could do to un unmove that, maybe it's it's a it's a top. Yeah, uh, for uh, yeah, for that type of stuff. So I sent a message through to to Nancy, who looks after the arena, and just said, "Should yeah. we speak to security about this? Because like, you know, we're not in high school anymore." Yeah. Let's see what this guy wants. Hey, you want you need help, buddy? Uh, I'm supposed to be meeting someone here for a meeting, uh, but I could get food What's for name? both of us, maybe. What's her name? Ah, uh, Grace. Uh, she's sitting right there behind you. Um, oh, I'm blind. Uh, yeah. Maybe she got her food already then. No, no. Oh, she... thank you. Yeah, no worries. Hi, Grace. I didn't see you. I couldn't hear you. Sorry, what were you saying? Oh, I said I didn't see you there. Oh, yeah, I was uh, in the corner working on Whenever that your, guy uh, talks, statement. I immediately think of like the docket. And hey, Quentin. You know, hey, Scarlet. Towley. Hello. Hey, everybody. Um, so How's it going? Can I get a small cut combo, please? Uh, yeah, sure. Thank you. I hate all of what these scenes and signs. Um, Looks ugly. Surprise me. Okay. Please. Thanks. And then what do you want to get, man? <gasps> you want to grab a small? I'll take the same Donald. thing, whatever it was. All right, yeah. I uh, <laughs> I got a small cock combo, check, and check, check. Uh, I told them they could surprise me with what they want. But if there's something yeah, specific like, you want, hey everybody, you let them know. How's it going? Oh, no, I'm hungry enough. I'll take whatever. 
no allergies. I'm hungry enough, so I'll just take oh, no. a lot of Cheeto dust, though, I'd take some of that for it on top. Uh, That'd be no, 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 we, um, fine dining, fine dining establishment, um. Honestly, though, man, like, you, you take some, like, Cheetos or Doritos, you grind it up, and then you snort it, and it's like, you can immediately get the taste of Bolivia. It's so good. Yeah, oh, my God, this so guy's so awesome. Yeah, that's just so much flavor. We're, gonna, we're not prepared All for right, that. there's a small combo. <laughs> uh, all right, cool. And Thank we're going to get your small combo next. No problem. I got his combo as well. Oh, you do? All right, perfect. Mm -hmm. oh, Thank you. Superstar. Easy, super quick, just okay, like that. There you are. Go to the cock. <laughs> Hope you guys have a good night. Thank you, you too. Day, day, day. Oh, thank you so have much. You're welcome. Watch out for birds. Uh, I, will. I will. Be careful of carrots. Uh oh. Yeah. Those are fighting words. So, hey, Scarlet, how's it going? <laughs> All right. I feel like it was just, hey, how's it going? And then immediately conversation for like the next hour and a half. Yep, but it was enjoyable. Yeah. Was it? Was it not? I mean, I personally loved hearing about your, um, game. My what? My what? My what? My no game. I didn't do anything. Quentin the Rizzler Chase. No, see, but this was this was last year. This was this was last year before before people made up that word. You know, that was like a year ago. This is this is even before I met Sun Yi. I think, yeah. Quentin the Chase or the game. Uh, neither. Just exist. <laughs> yeah, I, we wouldn't have recognized each other until she started just talking and um, she said her name. And actually, I had to look in the text messages. I would not have remembered her just by like appearance and sound along. I would not have remembered her. With his song. Oh, she seemed nice though. Oh no, she was awesome. She's a yeah. cool, cool ass person. Cool ass person to meet when you first. I mean, especially when you first get into the city. She was just super chatty, super helpful. Yeah. Uh, super friendly. Queen. And she's calling me. Oh. Okay, I didn't mean to say that out loud. Okay. <laughs> All right, okay. Oh. 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 <laughs> yeah and all of the chaos legion people have been super loud that's why we like went off to the side yeah didn't yeah. want to be hogging the the counter space but what you've been up to You missed us, yep, yep. yep. And they're grinding, and I don't want to do that. You don't want to grind? What are they grinding right now? Chop. Oh, they're chopping? Yeah. Gross. Why you don't want to do that? Long story. Uh, well, I started redecorating the, uh, the road garden earlier. I don't know if you saw that or not. No, I haven't been up there yet. So, I took down the snow, and I put in... I started putting in some fresh grass, like some fresh uh, topsoil, you know, like okay. really grown grass on it. Um, on one side, I haven't finished this side yet, and I also got some fireflies and reduced them. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Oh, I want to see. Yeah, it's super pretty. Okay. Oh my shot? god, no running, please. Oh my what? god. Oh, no, no I started please. coughing and I've coughed a lot. <laughs> Oh no. Okay, lung, lungs yeah. on the inside, please. This is a this is a reputable establishment. Yes. <laughs> oh, I'm not in line. Oh. Hey. 
not just Taurus. He likes to slam cocaine. Hello, what can I get for you? Really fast. Yes. Let me get um three of them surf and turf, please. Stop picking your leg. Ooh, ooh is closed. Who is closed? What? You scratch off ticket. Scratch off? Uh, sure. Yeah. What were you saying about flowers earlier, though? Oh, I, it was just a lame attempt at. Uh, and if you wanted a job at the Rose Garden selling flowers, that was it. Are you guys like hurting for employees and stuff? I mean, if you need something to do marginally in your spare time and make a little bit of extra money, uh, just on oh, commissions. I don't, like, say it. Yeah, I don't say it like that as like, you know, I just, I do like helping people out, you know? No, like, if you it, guys are needing help, I don't mind. It's. It's more enough. But you're you're trying to help me out. Exactly. Okay. I mean, I'm a helper. Yeah, I. It would be nice to have, I guess, a job. Because, let's face it, I'm uh, inactive at Rooster's Rest, and I do have the drift school job, but. That's all oh I yeah, got. that that place which. I honestly don't see anyone, like, talking about the drift school. Yeah, sadly. I feel like the drift school was just copium for so long that when it arrived, it was just kind of like, eh. Well, it was there for people to, like, you know, get their drift kits and stuff and chill out at the drift school and drift, but people just came and got their drift kits and fucked off, you know? Yeah. Yeah kind of can't blame Shano for that. He tried. And, uh, yeah. I feel bad for him because he worked, he, he's been waiting so long for it and uh, it's just unfortunately that's just how it is. And he did also get fucked by the state too. Like a lot of people's a lot of people's cars, like they got drift kits on them, but because you know they left the city, we couldn't pull those cars out that had drift kits because they didn't pay their maintenance fees. Oh uh, fuck yeah. So then he finally, I think, got something arranged where he he pays the maintenance fees and gets uh uh money back from the state because you know I mean he's a business and he needs the cars whether or not people are going to fly into the city and pay their you know stuff or not yeah very so true. i think he got that kind of situated but then it was just he went back to the fact that people just came got their drift kits and then fucked off again so he did try to hold like a bunch of events and stuff but yeah. just, you know they live for that day and then you know back to nothing again it's always the the issue of especially during this kind of time like no one wants to spend money to to go and do stuff but they oh. complain there's nothing that happens well so whenever i before i flew out for a long time i was working the drift school quite a bit actually i was make i don't actually i don't know if i even got paid but that's another story um but uh i was i was getting a lot of people that wanted um you know track time and stuff like that just to rent a drift car and drift around for 30 minutes and you know i got a lot of business that way but then i you know had the fly out but 78 the employees also that's like okay. using the drift I cars and wearing down the you. drift tires i appreciate time you, you so much the drift tires it's 6k it's good to see you hey, i'll be you. back sooner than like Yo. Six months. So and, uh, it was costing so Shane a whole it. lot of money because his employees were so taking again, advantage right of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Whatever, uh, I, I can imagine. Fills me up, uh, you know, like the they, they work there, so they're like, oh, yeah, well, I can drift for free. But really, it's 6K yeah, every time you wear down those tires. Okay. And how hungry are you? Like, are you about to pass out right now? And then the owners of the cars yeah, would, know, you know, yeah. come get their, yeah, their cars, them, and their tires are all worn down. So then Shane would have to pay for their, you know, drift tires. Because they want to, you know, drift their own cars. Ugh. Very scummy stuff. All right. Uh, and go ahead, eat this. It's another first. thing about, you know, 
right down the track. Getting materials yeah, is, um, I got a group together of like four people and we all, you know, ran we sanitation should. to get a bunch of rubber for the drift the tires, restaurant. but yep. didn't charge Shano at all for Thank it. You. So we got like 20 plus sets of drift tires made and uh, gifted them to Shano for the drift school. Cause it was like the drift tires alone was costing him so much money from his employees. Uh, you got it all? Yes, sir. Appreciate it. No problem, man. Go right to the cock. Have a good one. Oh. All right, welcome to Roosters. Looking to get you. Hey, can I get a large cock combo? Just one? It's not yeah. bad, though. 120K pretty oh, much to given combo? to them for uh, just their anything. drift school. All right, go ahead. Swipe purposes. Both. And then I'll have your order. Could be a case of uh, uh, get back in there, try and drive up some interest again, and get people actually using the, the track that's down there. Yeah, he's, uh, I think he was just in, on the way in to Seaside, though, and I don't know what he's, you know, doing there. Probably, I mean, it's it's one thing to have a business, but also hiring employees that you can rely on to, like, keep the business afloat, right? When you're not around or you're busy doing other stuff. Like, he Ignore that. That's had just me this idea. Photos. He made it happen. And then hired people he thought would help him take care of it, and they don't. Now, I can't speak for now, right? Like, I only know from what I know before. But from what it seems like you're saying, it hasn't really changed at all. Yeah. So, I could imagine he probably lost a little bit of hope, you know? Which is sad. But it's understandable. And maybe he hasn't, you know? Who knows? Oh, Scarlet, uh, can I get a um, large combo? She might be in her head. She might still be in her head. Oh. Uh, uh, I got some pins. One, one large combo? I got yeah. pins. Perfect. Boom. Alright. Grab it for you. Yeah, but I I do know what uh, what you mean about going and doing chop over and over and over again. Uh, I was in a similar situation of just collecting materials for you know whoever was buying at the time, and it would be like six hours every single day of just chop Unchecked. or sanding, just left, right, and center. Mm -hmm. I, I do need to find something. I need to, like, crack out of this mindset of mine because I do need to get money rolling in my account. I have 11K, and I'm probably coming up on having to pay asset fees again soon. Um, have you gotten your stimmy check from the vault? Um, I did before I went to sleep before, so there's not going to be much there. Yeah. I mean, hopefully when you tried picking it up for the first time, it was something. No. Yeah, it was a little bit. Teeny tiny bit. Okay. Hopefully it wasn't like 200 bucks or something like that, because that would just be a slap to the face. Probably like 1k. Oh, no. Yeah. I've heard of some people getting, like, really lucky from a generous government and getting, like, 20k, and I'm like, the fuck? Sure. After, <laughs> after being away for three months, I... Might have come back to 300k. <laughs> oh my god. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not lucky like that. I don't got it like that. Um. So, I guess. If anything, hunting is probably going to be uh, the thing I choose. Oh, hunting's pretty good. Oh, why did you do that? There you go. Now you've got a little bit more than 10k. I appreciate that a lot. Like, a lot. Oh. Thank you. That's all good. Like I wore down my own bank account, though, like... 
you know, off and on through like, you know, the course of seven months or eight months, you know, I'd, I'd fly back in and I'd want my cars and I'd pay my asset fees 40, 50 K every two weeks, you know, and I'd only, I'd only be in the city for maybe a day or two before I flew back out for another two months and I'd come back and pay another 50. I fucked myself. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you had the money to do it, man. So yeah i did but it's hurting me now you know like whenever i actually feel like waking up again right does that do you think about that when you wake up you think about like how much money you have to make or something yeah oh that's well well now yeah because i i my accounts i have now i have 14k thank you but that sucks uh yeah are these just asset fees you have yeah Sorry. And that's the um having some Mustang water because it's like uh, super super no, hot in the room there, man. Another car, VSTR. Oh, so like forty plus forty K plus or some shit. And it's like fifty K, yeah. Fifty K, okay. Yep. Um do you have you like a something? tow truck I or a bike or something? VSTR, but it's not really a vehicle that people are like really looking for, you know? Oh, uh, what was that? Tow truck? I, yeah, I have like random cars like that, like tow truck, van, you know, uh, the yeah. obvious ones. Yep, yeah, everyone's got to have a nose van. For hunting. I have a news rumpo and a burrito. Hmm. I have a tow truck, a Sand King, an outlaw, but that's a been scratch. Um, a Sanchez. And that's it. A Mustang, too. Yeah. Which I wouldn't mind getting rid of the VSTR, but it's just a matter of just finding a person that just happens to want it. And that was A class four door? Like yeah. four seater? Yeah, it was an A class four seater. Hmm. Pretty good car. But it was like, it was a really hard car to get because there's a long wait list and they only would get like one in every like three months. But, um, I had one person interested in buying it, but he hasn't texted me back or anything. But he did say that he would need a while, but no update or anything. Let me try calling him. He wanted to give me, I think, three hundred some K. Two eighty, I think. I don't know. I don't remember. For what? For your other car? Yeah, he's not awake. I don't really think I'm gonna hear from him. That was his price. I didn't care. As long as someone gets it, and it's less money I have to pay on asset fees, and I get some mm. money from it. I mean, the other thing they could do is uh, approach what autos or mushkins. Hey, hello. I have oh a no, boyfriend. they're gonna With... buy that shit yeah. for so cheap. <laughs> And like okay. offer me a hundred k for it. Uh, have a seat over there for me. Okay, yeah. okay that I, I could use, me? but that's not oh, no, very just... much money. No, no. Uh, uh, Do you uh, need anything to eat or drink? No, no, thank you. Oh me. yes, oh no, no, no. I need, I, I need to buy some uh, small co combo. No, I just see I'm starving. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, I, I, I got it for you. Would you uh, yeah, okay. so good. Okay. Hopefully the PB PB and J was was good i'm sorry what <laughs> wait i want the smarco combo yeah. with the sides no yeah, no but what do you want in a combo you've got a menu here so what do you want oh, i wait. could tell by oh. the way that you were standing there oh, that you were I just a, uh, deeply like thinking ramen. about a pb and j you want the ramen <laughs> what else you yeah want? toasted you want? of course of course with butter you see the side dishes what side dish you want mm. <laughs> I think I will take I'm a hungry. beef. But you just had okay. a toasted PB&J with butter. Mm. <sighs> how yeah. how can you still be hungry? Green tea. Well, another one. All right, cool. Go ahead, have a seat for me. Okay. And, um, be right with you. I got it. Uh, yeah. Have some yeah. ramen. He's an interview. He's an interview for. Um, uh, I don't know. What must be in my interview? The guy with the bag on his head is getting an interview. <laughs> What'd you say? 
I said the guy with the bag on oh. his head is getting an interview. Basically, oh, well, Jesus. Go, okay. He's new to and the city. The uh, orange and pink suit. Thank you. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> what? Am I mean? I mean I... We, we don't like to discriminate, but... Uh, no, I'm good. Yeah, I, oh, I would... Am I discriminating right now? I... I'm just saying this if, seems a tad bit unprofessional, but you know, it's just me, I guess. If he served me, I might oh, just, you know, double check that there's not like floaties in my ramen or something. Exactly. Sketch. A little sus. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you got blue eyes just like me. Kind of weird, I know. Oh, so you're staring deep into my eyes. Oh, okay. okay, all right, bud. <laughs> you already placed your hand strategically under mine, all right? And I don't want to hear it. Oh, my God. Wait, did I? I uh, I am sorry. I did not notice. I don't know what you're, I don't know what you're doing, all okay, right? Okay, okay, okay. Did he place his hand under yours? He did. No, you I've been here the whole time. I've been I've been here the whole time. Right here, haven't moved. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, don't He's just kind of smooth, man. Smooth there, sneaking it up there, you know, right under my hand. Pretty damn smooth. Welcome to Rooster. And okay, if that is the case, Hello. you didn't what exactly up? move it. So arms, okay, bud. <laughs> I'm just I'm Ooh, I'm just yeah. saying. I'm good. I want to do scratch off tickets today. They're fifteen a piece, fifteen hundred a piece. No. <laughs> All right, cool. Swipe here and um, get those four ramens for you. Okay, but uh, Brooke, not Taylor. Can I come back? Yeah, what's up? Uh, PB and J, yes or no? Oh, I think so. Um, I have to be in the mood for it. Okay, okay. Which is not very often. Okay, what would be your go-to then? Oh. My go-to what? Like, if Food? you were, if you were like, I just want something quick. Uh, tacos. Tacos. Okay. What do you have on them? Um, first of all, they gotta be street tacos. It's the only way to eat tacos. Good. Very, very good. Continue. Um, I do. I, I'm not very adventurous when it comes to like food, right. unfortunately. Sorry to um, so um, Scarlett, did you want to sit in on this interview? Uh, yeah, sure. Okay. I will be. But uh, yeah, I, we'll uh, we'll I sit usually in. get carne asada. <laughs> no, no, y'all don't have to sit in. Um, did y'all do? You y'all got food and stuff. You got food, right? Yeah, when we're, um, we're all yeah. Good. Okay. I'm I'm inactive, but I can make food. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm not supposed to, but yeah, technically not. Um, well, you know what, Quentin Chase. <laughs> what Brooke? Wait, you oh, can so hear me Brooke, from over there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so Mine? this is uh, this Am I is yelling? Oist, this is Oystein. He's another manager here. This is a Brooke oh. Lexi. Oh. <laughs> um, I She's, mean, um, I didn't do any of that. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> She's currently listed oh. as in, she's currently listed as inactive. <laughs> um, but she's just nice. getting back to the she's just getting back to the um city. Yeah, I've been gone oh. for probably like seven or eight months. Two days yeah. back and already breaking the rules. Already I am crazy. not. I didn't know. Hey, I was uh, just uh, about to go. fall over. <laughs> Nobody was here. <laughs> <laughs> so I uh, charged myself and I made me some food. I appreciate. I appreciate this person. Gotcha. This person is sorry. Fucking funny. Oh good. <laughs> I did yeah. yell. Nobody was here. And then they came out of the back. Um, but I'm a little confused because, you know, I'm whispering, but it seems like people over at the door over there can apparently hear me. Aww. I'm talking kind of low, you know? It's interesting. Yeah. Try just talking and I'll see if there's some acoustic stuff. I guess I'm just the fucking loud mouth. I don't know. I mean, I don't understand. Yeah, Why whispering. Yeah, it, everything's perfectly fine. Uh, and everything's whispering. I mean, I'm it's... whispering extremely loudly, yeah, we, apparently. But, well, you know, blah, blah, everything's blah, just blah, blah, blah. fully chill. <laughs> yeah. I couldn't hear jack shit. You can't? That's so weird. Quentin's got them fucking ears, though. 
It's got the bat ears. Yeah. yeah. I mean, to be fair, but I've, that guy I've sitting never over seen... the table with the bag on his head probably heard me talking about why does that guy have a bag on his head for an interview. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> These are the know. questions, you know? <laughs> yep. Uh, but um, you... Oh, so yeah, carne asada tacos. Okay. Cool. With onions and cilantro, and you gotta have those. I don't know what they're called. I forgot. But those carrots. Oh my god, they're so good. <laughs> and like pickled and jalapeno juice. Mmm, they're good. That sounds like it yeah. is both a little bit slash moderately hot to the point where no. you definitely no. <laughs> no, the carrots aren't hot. Even though they're pickled in jalapeno juice, they're actually not hot, and they taste so good. Yeah, the acid oh. breaks down. The capsaicin a lot. Sweating in the heat. Yeah, it's so good. It's like almost midnight, and I'm just jar. sweltering. <laughs> I don't blame you. No Easy wonder I got good eyesight. See, you know what I'm talking about. Oh, they're good. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, so I would, if that was the last food I could ever eat, I would always pick, you know, street tacos because you, you could, you know, specifying what kind of meat you have on them, so you could have, you know, anything, beef, pork, blah blah. You got your vegetables on you it. Know, you I, know, I respect that. I respect that. Uh, Oyston, Oyston, Oyston. Yeah. Um, what is your go-to food? Like quick, easy, comfort. Like what? What is your go-to? Uh, it does depend on the season, but mm, one of them is quesadilla. Oh yes. What what would you normally chuck on it? Uh, oh, normally just do it simple, like cheese, some kind of meat, whether that's ham, sausage, or what, and some. Chili sauce. Okay. Yeah. Ooh, I gotta take this. Sorry. No worries. Mm. Damn, everyone's got like mm. good food takes. Man, I think I have some takis in my pocket too. Oh. Oh. Uh, takis are good. I know. I may currently have some pocket M and M's. I'd take takis any day. I mean, yeah. <laughs> That's pocket true. M Ms, like they're all loose in your pocket with your pocket lint. No, I've got like a little Ziploc baggie. No. Oh right, systems. I forgot. Systems. Systems. Yes. <laughs> got to make sure you got your little Ziploc baggie with your M Ms you stay in your pocket. Oh, I gotta run. Oh. Okay. All right. Nice meeting you. And yeah, ladies and gentlemen, that was uh, that was the finale of uh, everyone's food takes. Uh, join us next week, where we will see uh, a man try to pull a hat out of a rabbit. <laughs> what? I said that wrong. To? <laughs> Just talking to myself. Oh, you're one of those. What? Do you also, never sorry, talk to yourself? The conversation short, but I ah, don't worry, man. Got a call about. Some jobs Very that good. I've been waiting for a couple hours, so. <laughs> oh. I find both of you. And I appreciate Bye. you. Thank you so much for for chilling here. Get some rest. And there was two. Don't, don't you ever like, just, talk to yourself. No, not really. Oh, so I'm the weird one now. Yeah, yeah, you're kind of the weird one right now. What was that? Uh, no, nothing. Just talking to yourself again. Yep. Hmm. Don't worry, I've got a system for that too. Hmm. <laughs> mm. Okay. Um. Scarlet was mentioning something about the rose garden and fireflies or something. Yeah. Wow. Didn't you? Did you want to go and see it? It's just up the road. Sure. Sweet. Um. Do you want to take your know. car? Your car, my car, whatever. Uh, we, could take, we could take my car. We just have to run around up and up. Oh, hi. <laughs> I'm an 
active. <laughs> Whatever that means. What the? F that's a thing. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Uh, check your frog way. Yeah. I mean, we can take my cards just here. You want to? It doesn't matter to me. Yeah. Either or. Is this a baller? Uh, Rebla. 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 I like the Reblas. Yeah. I mean, it's it's pretty nice. Flesh like, out. It's actually really slick. Yeah, the person that I bought it off, uh, it was uh, black with like a almost Bondi blue pearlescent. Uh, mm -hmm. Looked quite nice, but I was like, nah. Oh, did you buy it? Oh, did, I think maybe I know who you bought it from. Uh, what's that? I think you're still whispering. Oh, yeah. I said, I think I might know who you... Did you buy it from Blake? No, uh, Raven. Oh. oh, okay. So, yeah. Uh, just from here. Oh, damn. Yeah, that's it's quite very nice. Bright. Yeah. I mean, with how big the space is, kind of have to... Pop yeah. in as many lights as you can. Oh, this is really nice. Yeah, so uh, Scarlet normally takes care of most of this kind of stuff. Wow, it's uh, it's pretty nice. I'd come in here and like sit down, and read a book, have something to eat, and just relax. Huh, this looks really fucking nice. <laughs> she did all this herself. Betty. Yeah, I mean, like, Scarlet is a full-on legit, like, interior designer as well. There's a place oh. in um, Sandy called Lizard Dix, uh, which is, like, yep, yeah. <laughs> that's, that's what it's called. <laughs> that's all you're going to say? Yeah. Um, <laughs> and, uh, like, they... Uh, they actually buy hunting pelts, like legal hunting mm -hmm. pelts. So instead of having to store the pelts and then sell them at the at the guy, you can basically take those pelts directly to them. Uh, they'll buy the pelts off you for pretty much, I think it's 80% of like boosted uh, price. So you still get a, a decent chunk of change, uh, but mm -hmm. you don't, you can basically finish doing the hunting, go directly to them and say, I'm going to sell it and just be free of having to, to store all of these pelts. Yeah, um, and that way you're not like filling up vehicles and stuff. Exactly. With pelts. Yeah. And, hmm. and you don't have to worry about, you know, people uh, rocking up and trying to take the pelts or anything like that at, uh, at the spot. So it's, uh, it's pretty decent in that kind of aspect. Um, but the the point out of all of this was um, this is like a full on hunting lodge type thing. Scarlet helped doing it, and it is fucking amazing. It is probably one of the best shops in the entire city. What the lizard dicks? Yeah, hundred percent. So uh, I'm sorry, I'm gonna back you up a little bit. Um, what is you were talking about Scarlet being an interior designer and stuff, yeah, yeah. and then you mentioned the Lizard Dicks. Like, what's so, the connection? So, Lizard Dicks, Scarlet helped uh, do the interior design for. Oh, okay. Yeah. So. Oh. Okay. Apologies. I. I. No, no, no. I think good. I said I that just... and just kind of went straight past it super quick. That's yeah. That's what I was thinking. Is I think I might have missed something. I see now. Okay. How much do the pelts sell for nowadays? Um, like if you if you did a full night's worth of hunting, got about ten or eleven pelts just single-handedly. Um, mm -hmm. you sell it at the normal pelt guy. You know, you you get some ramen or something before going and talking to the guy. You might get like maybe. 
15k, maybe a bit more if you get lucky and get a whole bunch of three star pelts. Um, mm -hmm. If you sell to to lizard dicks, you'll maybe get you know between like 11 to 13 or so. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. So it's uh, start at uh, 8 p.m. goes through until 5 uh, 5 a.m. Um, mm -hmm. and generally you're you're able to get through about 10 or 11 uh, cycles okay i did a whole lot of hunting back in the day um but you know the the game wardens and stuff like that didn't like restrict you from certain times uh yeah. for hunting so it's uh it's very explicit now of um you do hunting between those times that I mentioned, uh, but once mm -hmm. you've got the pelt, you have to let it um, settle. Dry out. Yeah. Mm. So you basically have to wait until the following daytime, and then you can start selling from 8 a.m. onwards. Okay. That's probably going to be my route. Buddy. Getting money again. How you doing? Like, Why are you not saying anything? I, feel like I just, God, I hate doing that shit. <laughs> I did it for so long. Look, there, there was a time, and you'll probably remember this, when you used to get the safe cracker tools from, like, you know, oh, doing yeah. b and E's or, or doing Oxy. And there mm -hmm. was a group that I was trying to get in, uh, an in with. So I would do a whole bunch of chop like massive amounts so I could get materials to sell to one group of people and then with all of the dirty money that I would get from that I would then go and run Oxy so then I could try and get Safecracker tools and Oxy so I could sell to this other group of people and the majority of people who are still actually around right now um, pretty much uh, none of them so I spent my time incredibly well. Good mm. learning thing. Barely got caught. I mean, by by the cops at least. Got robbed a whole bunch of times. Yeah, I but... don't think. Oh, sorry. Hmm. I don't even remember when the last time I got robbed was. Even, like, when I was uh, in the city a lot. Yeah. How long have you been in the city? Um. Like. Um. Let me see probably a year CID. and a half. Uh, Let me see that CID. Uh, 17324. 17324. Oh, yeah. okay. So it's, like, about a year and a half. Okay. Let me guess. You've you've got one of those uh, elusive four-digit uh, state IDs. <laughs> I'm assuming. I, are you? <laughs> <laughs> when you're like uh, uh... something like that. I even took like a day of vacation before I came back to the city. So the friends and Rooster's Rest that I tried to tackle, they have a state ID of like 16 something, like four digit. Oh, well, I guess I'll just go over here and. <sighs> <laughs> I, I'm a little, I'm a little old in this city. <laughs> Damn. Okay. Even before that, though, so... I mean, now now I feel uh, like a bit of a... Like a bit of a dumbass for being like, Yeah, you know, you've, you've come back to the city after being gone for a while, you know. Uh, let me just uh, <laughs> fill you in on a few things. And you're like, Bitch, I know all of this already. <laughs> like, you know, sit, sit I mean, down. some things, yeah, but I'm not going to be rude like that, you know? Because, I mean, <laughs> a lot of it is, is helpful. <laughs> But, uh, 
Yeah, oh, that's, I mean, it, that's it, funny. It, it probably makes all kinds of sense now, like how I'm a little unhappy with, you know, what the city ha has to offer nowadays, right? Because, uh, like, yeah, before the whole mutiny, like, that was, that was my time to shine. Where I had a place, you know? So it's, it's also me, um, trying to adapt oh. and failing to adapt because... I just don't have my, those families anymore. Uh, and, you know, not like many people. I, I do so remember I the memories I had, right? Burping. Like, I remember. Yeah. I mean, I, I was actually talking to, to someone not too long ago. I was like, do you remember who the very first person that you met in the city was? Like, you jump who off I the plane. The city? Yep. Yep. And that was Adam Prince. <laughs> yes, yeah. you mentioned that earlier. Apologies. Yeah. Um, <laughs> well, uh, I'm sure you've heard of uh, uh, a certain person called uh, Elizabeth Byrne. Name rings a bell. I know she's yeah. old. Uh, well, I think. Uh, quite notorious, um, if uh, if anything. Um, yeah, Lizzie is very much a character, um, broke, uh, river blocks, uh, record for being jailed. Um, hmm. she hey, ended didn't up... did Lizzie Byrne die? No, she killed someone. Oh. Yeah, so she, uh, she was sentenced to the first official murder uh, that happened in the city um, since the economic uh, collapse. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's. I guess that's what I meant. Like yeah. she, you know, died. So, yeah. Yeah. Um, she was the first person that I met in the city. <laughs> Left the apartment. You know, figured out how to get my free car from the government out. A freaking minivan, which was glorious. I miss that fucking thing. Um, and was driving down the road and saw just this person with like, you know, red hair just running down the street. And I was like, you know what? I'm gonna offer this person a ride. Uh, oh man! Yeah, you know, jumped in and like an hour after that, it's like, okay, so this is how you run Oxy. Like, okay, cool. I hate that. I'm I'm new to the city. I don't know what I'm doing. Like, oh, well, let's go and do some fishing. You've got your licenses? Am I supposed to? Okay, let's get your licenses. <laughs> like, it, it was a whole thing. Like, I don't, I, you know, that's what I usually do is I introduce people to, um, you know, fishing and, you know, the legal, the legal jobs and stuff like that. But I'm very old in my ways and... That's one thing that really disappoint me. disappoints me is when people introduce, you know, people that just got off the plane to, like, running Oxy and Chop, and here's a lockpick, go, you know, steal a car, and do this, and do that, like, here's weed, and this is how you grow it, and if you want, you know, coke, then yeah. here you go. Obviously, coke is a little harder to get hands on, and meth, obviously, but... Oh. I just never I've never been a person to do that like I want people to learn as they go but it's like you stand outside the apartments and you learn everything yeah and oftentimes it's just if you sit somewhere you will overhear mm -hmm. enough people thinking they are talking quietly and you can learn a lot from that side of things yeah, see, the, the point, the the time of the city before the mutiny, like, if you started talking about shit like that, you got your ass snatched up. And I miss that. Like, people are not, they're not quiet about anything in this city anymore. Yep. There's certain places to have conversations, and that's normally up by the uh, fire watchtowers, because no mm -hmm. one fucking goes there. Yeah, and like weapons too. Like, every, you know, everybody knew who was dealing weapons. Everyone knew who even got the weapons. Like, you would never know who was the person making these weapons. Yep. Right? 
it's like instead of middlemen now people just like call up the actual you know crafter or used to yeah and it's just yeah oh yeah um i'm sure you already know um class twos are basically dead and gone it's still a little bit left right and center but it's hella expensive um mm -hmm. and class ones are just insanely expensive are they how much are like just your average pistol um last that i heard for like a browning or you know something like that it was about 20k what yeah i remember they were like five to eight hundred dollars yeah holy shit so uh if you want to get something from like ammunition that price hasn't really changed it's about 300 bucks uh but if you want like a deagle or a cult or something like that you're looking at like 30k at least holy shit i mean sawn off shotguns i think are cheaper so you either save cost on that but uh, sacrifice being able to go long range or you just fork mm -hmm. it out close quarters blast them yeah. all you know i mean if you're going insane. close quarters then just get yourself a sledgehammer Yeah. That is crazy. So, things, uh, things are quite a bit different in that aspect. What about, uh, oh, sorry. What about, uh, like mechanic shops and stuff? Are they like repairs on vehicles and stuff are they about the same like what's the money uh situation um, looking like nowadays so for for a vehicle that was previously classed as a s class um mm -hmm. repairs could start at about 2k could start yep just for like you know just a checkup body engine and just kind of messed up a little yeah, bit like body engine maybe you know maybe like a four or five point tune-up type thing uh it could be about 1800 uh if you really ran into the ground and like didn't take it in for a service for a while and it was like a 20 point checkup that's like almost three grand Holy shit. You know, a class is a little bit less than that and just you know bees and stuff what onwards about, are, like... are fine what about like our local repair shops and stuff? Um, like Benny's. Benny's. Benny got run out of town. Oh no, really? Yep. So, um, and Benny's, uh, down on Power Street, and Benny's up in Polito, um, like they've closed up shop. But what about the one that's on, um... Uh, the... Oh, my GPS looks different. Yeah, it's horrible. I I hate that we all got that, uh, the same GPS Over. update. The yeah. Lux Laguna Boulevard Benny's? Uh, the, you mean the, the super secret Benny's uh, just behind the vault uh, yeah. that the PD don't know about? Um, oh, the PD don't know about? Yeah, the, the PD totally don't know about that. Oh. Um, <laughs> and... Yeah, like, Benny's... Benny just got ran out of town. Uh, but with repair kits, they actually do better repairs. Oh. Yep, so if you have, like, an advanced repair kit, that'll... That'll do a bit more of a repair job than, you know, just doing basic engine. Well, um, I think, like, my car right now is rattling, you know, but the repair kit like help that could i fix yeah. it up with a repair kit yeah so you'd be able to mm. get a little bit um yeah the the whole thing is you know it's not going to be like a you know a, a decent repair but it's going to be enough so that you know parts of the body aren't going to fall off you know clutch is going to be fine gearbox oh, okay. is going to keep on you know engine is fine 
but at some point in time you will still have to take it into a repair shop. Of course. That's another thing that I did whenever I was in the city was I worked at Harmony and was a manager there for two years. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> I was an apprentice and there I, for like a it. month. When were you an apprentice? Uh, this was probably about nine months ago or something. Um, hmm. And I only left being an apprentice there because uh, I would only get paid if there were vehicles to work on. And if no one came in, I would be standing there doing nothing, not yep. being paid. And expected to be there. Exactly. So I was yep. like, uh. See, I, I, I dropped uh, Harmony, I think, last Christmas. Yeah. So it's been a little over a year since I was a manager there. And I was one of the managers that, you know, kind of stood up for the other workers and the apprentices because the last thing I wanted was people standing up there and just that's that's their life, mm. right? I like, mean, I, like, told people, go do whatever it is that you want to do. Just post your number up on Yellow Pages, you know? But even then, like, even if you didn't feel like working, don't, you know, don't post your number on the Yellow Pages. Enjoy your fucking time in the city, right? Because some people, you know, eh, conductor's a little hard on, right? Yeah. And, I mean, the, like, the, thing the that... management and everything wanted people there all day, every day. And it's just like, man, you just can't, you can't do that. Yeah. The thing that uh, kind of killed it for me was one of the managers, uh, I don't know if he's still there, but he referred to every, like all of the apprentices as uh, you are number 462. I'm not going to bother oh. learning your name. I'm just going to call you number 462. You have an accent? Yeah, I, from what I remember. That was probably yeah. Jackson. Yeah, I think so. I was like... Like one of the higher up managers? Yeah, yep. Yeah. yeah, it was Jackson, probably. Yeah, so that I was like... like a Jackson thing. Okay. That's that's fine. I'm just going to do my job. Smile. To be fair, we did have, like, so many apprentices that it was hard to remember everybody's name unless I saw... Unless I personally saw you there every day, and that's just how I am. Like, it's hard for me to remember names and stuff. Then I wouldn't remember who who they were like i'd know who they were just because what they looked like but i wouldn't remember their name so but it is like that's pretty like i remember when that started out it's just like a joke like we mm -hmm. tease uh people even like some of the workers you know and i'd also call like the apprentices like the ones that i were i was teaching you know my little ducklings right yeah and but you know they were they were fine with it and it's like i got to know them you know so, you know, we thought it was kind of funny and it was fun and, you know, they laughed and I didn't insult them or anything. But the whole, you know, your number so and so and so so looks like it got blown way too far. Oh, yeah. Like that it... eventually was just a joke. And then it seems like they made us serious. Like you're replaceable yeah. and, you know, just that kind of shit. No, it was. It. It was demoralizing enough to the point where I was like, I, mm -hmm. I don't want to go to a place where people aren't even going to try and remember who I am for me to just stand yeah. there and be ignored, but expected to just stay there, even though none of the mm -hmm. other managers who can actually, you know, get parts or make parts are even well, there to help me. Boost. Yep. And they fuck off and do their own thing and then want the workers to stand there. And that's, yeah, like I said, when I was a manager, I didn't want people doing that. Like, I, I told them, like, go fucking fact, live your life. You. Thank this you so isn't much. your life at Harmony. And if it Get is, it shouldn't be. This is not yeah. what you, this is, this shouldn't be the only thing you know. And, like, the other managers, though, like, you know, um, Jordan, you know, he wanted someone there all day, every day. Shop always man. And sometimes it would be, you know, just me because, you know, I talked to the train conductor and, you know, we're on good terms and stuff and there wouldn't be anyone at the shop and I would get up, I would get yelled at for not being at the shop. I'm like, motherfucker, I am doing my own thing. I'm not going to stand there all fucking day. <laughs> yeah. I mean, 
And in the beginning, like, you know, I worked my ass to death, man. Like, in the very beginning, because at, at the time, it was only me, Jackson, Maddie, and Jordan. And uh, every now and then, Kisa, which you probably don't know, because she's not been in the city too often. No. But it was just, like, five of us, and we had to start to shop up, like, doing chop, doing sanitation, getting materials built up, just so we could even afford to repair one single car. It was rough. It was hard. And then finally, we started getting people, like, trickling in, you know, who wanted to work there, and it started getting a little easier, but for a long time, it was just rough. And it fucking sucked. Yeah. I don't think I could ever attempt to work in a place like that. At, at least, not, not with how the mechanic shops are nowadays. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I remember uh, back in the day, it was a lot easier. It was a whole lot easier. Yeah. But things change. And yeah, it's, uh... I just got to a point where I was done and I worked there so much that after I quit that job it was sad because then I just kind of thought well what now <laughs> like I literally spent so many it's been two years there to leave and it's just like I know nothing now I don't have any friends I don't have any other place to go and uh, it sucks your life away and because I left, Jordan was upset that I left so then the other management were also pissed off at me for leaving and it's like, so all the friends that I did have, I don't have anymore. Yeah. So now I'm in the city, I have no friends. <laughs> because I dedicated my fucking life to Harmony. Did you get uh, caught up in the whole Haze Harmony bullshit when that happened? Um, I think there was some shit going on. I think that was when Adam Prince was still working at Haze. <laughs> and yeah. so they apparently rolled hey, uh, Harmony and uh, Subi and shot up Harmony. I don't think I was awake during that, but I was um, waking up quite often around that time. Yeah, that was that was a wild ass time. I was definitely at that lawsuit, like that court case. Yeah, which... As I understood it, uh, the Hayes team basically could not lose. The, the way their case was stacked up, they they couldn't lose. And then they didn't oh, even they fucking didn't turn up. Oh, yeah, yeah, they didn't turn up, yeah. yeah. So they ended up losing and having to pay Harmony a bunch of money. Yeah, which so, so stupid. Um... <laughs> Oh yeah, uh, Pez from Hayes uh, mm -hmm. is now a cop as well, by the way. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. Um, yeah, this is a conversation I don't want to have because this mm -hmm. is what's going to make me go back to sleep. <laughs> yeah, like this. <laughs> so stupid. Uh, yeah. So yeah. And then my my good old friend Salim Shakib is also a cop I learned. Yeah, which didn't fucking see that one coming. Yeah, like of anybody, like Salim really. Uh, I mean, he's my he's a good friend. He's he's dumb as shit, but he's but my best friend. <laughs> he was the If there was any person which if you were going to call on to a job and was like, hey, we're going to do like a bike swap, Salim was the guy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The amount of shit that he somehow managed to, to do on the back of his bike, like, I... I have oh, zero yeah. idea. I got caught up and ended up getting a warrant because I had his back. And you know what <laughs> for... No, What's for that? a $500 fucking traffic citation that he didn't even tell me about until after we were in prison. Or no, after I was about to get sent. They told me, like, all he had to do was pay the $500 and we just would have let him go. I'm like, are you fucking serious, Salim? I took, like, yeah. 10 plus K hit to getting my bike out of impound. 
I took all the charges for getting sent to prison and helping him, ev like, I, I uh, snatched him out of custody on my bike. Bike got shot up. We ditched the bike and took off running. We both got warrants. He had a warrant, but then I got a warrant. And then we went around the city fucking with the cops because, you know, why not yeah. <laughs> have some fun? And then they ended up catching us. And then I got sent for, like, it was Lydia Bell who fucking... She stacked my charges so goddamn high that I served, like, I think 80 or 90 months in prison Oof. over his fucking $500 traffic citation. I was like, you're paying to get my bike out of impound, and you're also paying my fucking prison fees. Yeah. Uh, speaking of impound fees, uh, they're a bit higher. Oh, nice. Yeah. Like, if a vehicle gets impounded... You're looking at anywhere from like 40 or 50k plus. Oh my god. So maybe don't get your your vehicles impounded. <laughs> yeah, I don't really plan on it. Yeah, there was... Uh, I don't race, and I usually just pull over if I get pulled over. Yeah, there was one person that I heard about who trying to get their vehicle out was like 90k. Fucking hell. Yeah. Uh, on a completely unrelated note, uh, have you seen the uh, the flowers and bouquets and stuff that we've got? I haven't. Yeah, because we basically came in here, stood up here, and was like, oh, this looks amazing, and then continued talking. <laughs> not that I mind. Like, it's, it's not very often that uh, uh, you actually meet someone new and have a chance to learn about them. Actually wants to talk. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, have a chat to this dude. There's a little bit hey, of... Hey, uh, dude, what do you got? There's a bit of Christmas stuff there. Oh. She needs to bring her single roses back, though. Yeah, then... The way that uh, we have to deal with uh, the factory nowadays is quite a bit different, so all of the oh. like single stem stuff, um, it's it's a lot harder for us to do that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There's uh, anything that that guy has which kind of jumps out at you and give you something on, on the house. Thank you. Hmm. I like this little polar bear. Yeah, Pinky. Hell yeah. I like Pinky. Oh, there you go. That's just cute. on, the, just on the ground there. It's one thing about me, I am a collector. <laughs> Thank oh, you. Uh, speaking so of, um, do you know about the uh, um, your special pocket in your pockets? Uh oh. Oh. Um, so if you get like a collectible pouch or something, for for you to. Collect and all my this dog's type stuff. Leash I can put in there. And your dog's leash that you can put in there. Oh, <gasps> I need to go get ZZ. Okay. Um, let's, go get, let's go get ZZ. Sweet. She's at the apartment. Oh. Uh, which apartment? Uh, Alta Street. <gasps> Alta Street. Uh. Yeah. I mean, it's been so long since I've taken her to a vet, too. <laughs> yeah, Is the should... still in town, or...? Um, a little bit harder to, uh, to try and catch them, but yes, they I are got, still around. Like... Ooh. Ooh, they're watching you! <laughs> Be careful! Oh, that's a good that's song! <laughs> oh my... Oh! What the fuck? <laughs> uh, um, yeah, that was that was a hell of a shadow local. Also, 
Uh, apologies for the way that my brain is. You're probably going to see and feel some shit. That's not good. Um, oh, I was saying, yeah, I got an email about a court case that I was supposed to show up to and shit because my, you know, I whenever I left the city, you know, I kind of think that, you know, I took my dog with me and shit while I was yeah. gone for seven months. But when did, you, did you hear anything about that? Like, what happened with that? Um, with that, as f they basically dismissed the case because... Uh, the amount of people who turned around and said, I have tried to find a vet, but there are no mm -hmm. vets. And, yeah, then... Well, I know uh, some people had gone to the vet and, yeah. you know, still were summoned. Yeah. Uh, one second. Let me go get my... That's all good. Oh, um, actually, this is going to sound weird, but, uh... Come in here. <laughs> oh. Okay. Oh. Okay, I am unsure which my apartment is. I don't know which one is mine. Uh, I'm fairly sure if you go into your phone um into the housing app uh you'll be able to uh look at apartments that you own and it'll 76. tell you 76 yeah okay um, nice place oh yeah, i do have like a yeah i do have a i have oh i had a polaroid camera um, I have a photo album here too. Yeah. All it doesn't have very many photos in it, but. Oh, let me see. Oh, yeah. Okay, so let's see. There's one. Do you recognize those people? That is uh, JJ from Mayhem. Yep. Uh, Adonis and um, Arturo. Yeah, and um, uh, fairly sure pretty much all of them are still around. Okay. And that is me and Tokyo Blue. Do you know who Tokyo Blue was? Yeah. I'm, Why you say it like that? No, I there's there's a lot of people where I know them by name and I remember seeing them on Twitter, but you know, there's there's almost like everyone talks about them like they they are great and amazing and like i never met them and okay. i kind of feel bad i'm wondering why this picture is now black because that kind of sucks that was a very um do you see that or is that yeah that was look black to you? no that was like a a nice uh, tranquil vista view with like one of the bridges No, yeah. so I have like this one too, but my pictures aren't that great. There's so many people that take better pictures. Oh, that, but... that actually looks like a badass view, like uh, the railway bridge down on what is it, Cassidy Trail? Yeah, that, yeah, that looked awesome. Yeah, it looks really cool. Yeah, that and that's freaking cool. I guess I took this picture, but it's just kind of simple. I just like the eerie look, you know. Hmm. Um. Wish I had more of an eye for um, nature and artistic views and stuff like that, but I I look at and something then, and go, huh, that looks kind of cool, but that's about <laughs> it. I got this. Ah, <laughs> uh, the old no pixel cards. And yeah. There's not around anymore. I mean, they're, they're still there, but uh, they no, were... That card is extremely rare yeah. to get. They were talking about bringing out, like, the Season 2 of the NoPixel cards, and then it just never, never came. Happened. Yeah. 
I don't have any good cards. I didn't really care too much about the no pixel cards. I just liked those like penalty card and then mm. I have the this one's pretty common, I think. The reverse. Oh, uh, I miss Bogans. Bogans was a really cool idea. They wanted to do more with the cards, but I think uh, someone some sort of logistics company stopped the cards from coming in and and landing on the island so kind of sucks uh oh uh, okay i got it should probably like put the candles out you don't want to burn the place yeah. down Okay. Come here. Fuck, that's scary. You'll never know. <laughs> oh my god, look at that puppy! Yeah. It's Zizi. Zizi, huh? Mm hmm. She's my baby. What breed? Uh, she's a husky. She's beautiful. Yeah. Can I pet her? Sure. Oh, you can you can reach down and pet her. It's fine. Don't be yeah. scared. Hmm. Hmm. Are you new to the uh, city? Oh yeah. Oh okay. Um. Hmm. If, yeah. Uh, I, I, you know. I. Yeah, if you like, look at look at the dog with your like third eye, your alt eye. Um, oh, oh okay, go. okay. Oh, there we go. Yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, what what's your name there, fella? Uh, Matt. My name's Matt. Matt. Pleased to meet you. My name's Dirk. I am Brooke. Dirk and Brooke. Yeah. Yeah. So. Is uh, is today like your first day, second day, or like my third day? Third day. Third day. Well, yeah. welcome, welcome. Wow. Well, thank you. Yeah, I've mm. uh, I've been trying to get a lay of the land. You know, uh, got a job at Uwu. Uh, I'm trying to get work at Hayes because I've got an automotive background. I'm dropping a shot of a oh, okay. Ago. Yeah, I'm just mm -hmm. trying to trying to figure out where I fit in, you know. Yeah, just you know, take your time. Um, don't get discouraged, you know, if it uh, takes you a little bit. Hey, what's going on, guys? What's up, hey. you know? Speaking of hate. Yeah, you know, it's been uh, the the time I'm in the city. It's uh, you know, there's not a lot of people hanging out. Uh, I guess everybody sleeps, you know, uh, um, while I'm say... out and about. Yeah, I would say around this time in the city, yeah, I think it's a little, um, I think it's a little hectic, as you could see. Yeah, I see but, that, um, it's finally, yeah, because yeah. I, uh, I spent a lot of the evening, you know, just driving around, talk, trying to talk to people, and just, I just, just could not find anybody. It, it, it do be like that sometimes, unfortunately. Now, the, the one thing that I will give you, like, uh, a, a thumbs up for... Uh, you've got eyebrows. Well done. Yeah, well, I, uh, well done. I learned. I learned. I learned that actually early on. So I was <laughs> in town Sorry, one time this. months ago, and uh, yo, yo. the first thing I did was hey, walk up to me and goes, "Dude, you got um, eyebrows." I'm like, "Oh man." Uh, we are so, now down at the you know, I went apartments because uh, 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 you know, because I, I know like yeah, chicks like, that you know have Brooke and I we uh, so you know uh, swung down this way because she forgot that she had uh, a pet stashed away so we came down here oh oh well hi okay hello thank and, you and um yeah we've now uh, just bumped into a new person to the city like three days in so just having a chat to him okay yeah uh yeah we just finished the interview we came down to trg to see you guys um what'd you think of all the fireflies it looks super super awesome like friggin awesome and uh, yeah. um, i feel like I don't know if you've done something different with the lighting and stuff, but it seems like way, way brighter. Roger that. Yeah, it is. Yeah. So, not sure if it's like too bright now. 
Um, but yeah. You're talking like about a, inside the yeah, castle. Inside. Oh, you can outside. count on me. Um, you can count on oh, me. Like I, just I, in the think... in the entrance area. Yeah, I, I mean that there, area has changed, and, uh, uh, mm. except for I added two little balls to the end of the stairwell. For me, it's it's I'm still all, pretty I'm good with that. dark. I'm good with that. Uh, okay. It could be a contact it's, thing. It's probably that. As soon as yeah. as soon as uh, I took a look, so and I know that, when I, I had those contacts, I had to uh, kind of get like a UV light, kind of like shaded. Oh, fantastic! Yeah. No, that's uh, that's all good. Right, well, yeah, we'll we'll probably be back up around to uh, TRG no, I'm or a, unfortunately, uh, I'm a or roosters in, in a little bit. The moment. Okay. Okay. Um, we'll talk to you soon then. See. You. See you in a bit. Alright. Bye. Okay. They street side says it's a gang, but it's not really a gang. So it's a friend group. Oh, all right. That's cool. Yep. yep. Okay, right. uh, have a good one. I need to go to my apartment and pass out, all right? Night. Hey, have oh, a good yeah. night. You have a better night. Sleep well. <laughs> you fucking sleep well, what the fuck? No. You I hope well. you have one of the most restful sleeps that you've had. Wow, that's, that's some serious. I that's hope that serious. both sides of your pillow are nice and cool. Yeah, oh, <laughs> oh. Oh man! You yeah, I always usually sleep with like the blanket. I oh. usually sleep with uh, no, one leg out, one arm out, and that. both feet. Oh my! Right, you and your I'll fucking systems. <laughs> <laughs> fucking system for everything. Yeah, a system for everything. Good morning. Morning. Man, I forgot how wow, hectic it is. It altered is. apartments was. Yeah, me too. I never really hang out here. <laughs> this wow. is the most traffic I have seen in three nights. <laughs> like in one shot. The, and the other time uh, was apparently the police were here raiding somebody. Oh, yeah. Then that happens mm. pretty often, to be fair. So there are a lot of criminals living in this tenant. Yeah. I mean, okay, I can live with that. Yeah, there's, there's a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, question for you. Yes. Do you have a car? I do. What have you got? Hmm. Uh, an old emperor. You know what? Not a bad car. Like, is it uh, like fully rusted out, or is it a little bit? Uh, no, cleaner? no, it's got a so it's got a solid uh, paint job on it. Uh, a little scraped up, but um, when I was in uh, the city last. Uh, something happened and it decided that you know the little uh, check engine indicator uh, next to it was a sign that said something is wrong with this car basically but it wasn't very uh, helpful <laughs> uh, looking over the car I couldn't see what was wrong with it so I let uh, local take it and it cost me a thousand dollars to get it back so yeah. Wait, so it your check engine light was on, or? Uh, it wasn't, it, it was, um, it was something, when I would get in, there was the information center that would tell you, uh, something's mechanically wrong with this vehicle when I tried to start it. Oh. It, and, yeah. uh, I, I tried to repair kits just to, uh, go over the thing, and, and I, it just didn't do anything. It was, I, I think uh, the, the correct term mm -hmm. is scuff. Uh, no, that's not yeah. the correct term, but we get you. Yeah. Oh, okay. I mean, for... <laughs> For for a car at that type of uh, at that type of age, honestly, it was probably like uh, spark plugs or or gaskets, you know. Just yeah, it it happens. It used to happen to to my old Impra, so yeah. When oh okay okay, so it's it's, it's part of the okay. That's yeah. yeah. They 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 call it a feature. Worst case. Oh, I love I love the term feature. Yeah. <laughs> But uh, when, what are it's you like, up to? It's uh, like when you're uh, running a computer and uh, you're you're playing, you know, uh, like like you're at home playing a game or something, and just something goes to hell, and it's, you know, it's it's not a bug, it's a feature. Yeah. Uh, it's uh, it's always good. What uh, what are you up to at the moment? Just and uh, well, I was uh, lose, I, I was actually kind of uh, losing hope on uh, having any meaningful conversations or you know interactions. So uh, I had already gone. Uh, contacted Hayes, did some work uh, over at Uwu, and uh, I got my car situated and stuff. I actually had, I ran from the apartments. I actually went all the way down to Mega Mall, got the, 
repair kit I needed, and then I had to go to the impound lot, get it pulled out, and repair it. Yeah. So that was that was a lot of a lot of walking. Okay. Hmm. Well, uh, they've actually just finished the uh, the interview up at Roosters, so we can head back up there. And okay. and Matt, if you want to come and hang out, meet some meet some new people, you're welcome to come as well. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. All right, let's go. Sweet. Fantastic. Come on, Z. Z Z. Oh. Yeah, she's uh, jet lag. Yeah. Come on, dude. Oh, Don't trip. <laughs> it's the stairs, man. They're like full on uneven. Which is the dog seat? Uh, I guess whatever. Whatever seat she feels. Oh, looks like that seat. Yep, we're on the other side. Sit next to mommy. <laughs> what? She sit next to her mom. <laughs> Good recovery. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, like you you're sitting oh, no, I... you're, you're sitting behind me. Like I I normally charge people for <laughs> for for me huh? to call them mummy. Oh yeah, no, no. I I meant like you know the dogs you know behind her mummy. Okay. Oh. <laughs> hmm. Did he just call me mommy? You're you're you're. You, that's your dog, right? Did you call me mommy? You're a dog mom. That's, Man, I don't know how I like that. Oh, that's that's how we all talk back from where I'm at. Man, I don't feel We're that old. We're pet parents. We're pet parents. Man, you're making me feel ancient. I am not ready to be a mom. No. <laughs> uh, it, it is what it is. I mean, technically, yes, so. you do have a pet. Yes. You know, no. you take care of it. Do you love your dog like a child? It's my companion. And I love her. Would you take a bullet for your dog? Yes. Retort. Okay. Then you love that dog as much as you that would love your own child. That doesn't mean that it makes me her mommy. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Updating the contact in my phone. Why? What? What did you what? Uh Brooke two first names Jane Wick and uh, comma space bracket Dog Mummy. Thomas Oh my fucking god. <laughs> <laughs> I, I am so sorry. No, you you're good man. So have you been into Roosters before? Uh that's a negative. Okay. Well welcome to Roosters. They're the only two places I've Where actually been they? in. Um, been to uh, Uwu and I should I've been be to here. Shot. Otherwise, uh, probably up at uh, the Rose Garden. Uh, she doesn't like in here. Hmm. I am not dressed properly for this place. Hey, Dirk. Hey. Um. You were at Roosters or TRG? TRG. Okay. Right. Alright. Sweet. Bye. Bye. So yeah, this is uh, like another restaurant uh, similar to Uwu. You know, Uwu kind of has the, the whole uh, anime cutesy type vibe. Uh, this is more yes. like, you know, I mean, if, if you have a look at the menu over here, you know, there's stuff like ramen beef teriyaki steamed dumplings yeah mm. that type of vibe it's uh it's really really nice but the yeah, uh, it is. this place is this place is really nice yeah uh, i like so, the rustic feel of it yeah uh so there's also a place to do like uh roulette um roulette gambling uh, it's, it's quite nice okay okay yeah but the, I've never, uh, never really partook in gambling. I'm, you know. 
Well, I think I have five dollars cash on me. I after buying repair kit, and, <laughs> you know, getting the car up and going and stuff, I, I would have to hit the right. ATM or something. But so when you were working at uh, UWU, uh, you would have gotten a whole bunch of work receipts. Yes. Have you cashed those in? Yet? Yes. Yes. Good. Yeah. I uh, the the yeah. I after every shift, I I go straight up to the vault and uh, deposit my earnings because yeah. I don't want to like collect a million of them and then get robbed or something. Yeah, that uh, that definitely is something that you yeah, don't want to be caught out on. I've been caught out on it, and it sucks. So yeah, the uh, people that we were uh, going to meet, they're actually at a different place up here. And sorry, they're uh, they're up at uh, the Rose Garden. Not here. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Um, I mean, shit. I can't, I wish I could make you food. I I can't though. Um, you know what? Fuck it. Fuck it. <laughs> How's it going, boss man? It's going all right. Just was hoping to get food, but if I have to go somewhere else, I can do that. Uh, it's like where do you even get food anymore? Oh yeah. Well. Uh, I think Uwu was open earlier. Um, it was. Yeah. And then Just I went back really later uh, to, you know, keep my uniform there. I was trying to get all that all situated. Right, yeah. And uh, once I got over there, they were actually closed. Now, I, I mean, I have keys to get in, but I'm not allowed to work. Yeah. Uh, without people because I'm a trainee. So right. uh, I just snuck you in, dropped off my uniform, and snuck there. back out. Yeah, fair enough. Awesome. Interesting, dude. Trying to stay out of trouble, you know? Yeah. yeah it's all good. So how how far have you uh, explored? Like, you've been up north at all? I've... Uh, no, I have not been up north at all. Um... I, I know there's a casino. I have not been to the casino. Uh, the, I haven't yet to see uh, beaches or piers. Um, I basically, uh, this area, the impound lot, Uwu, uh, I drove over to Hayes. So uh, there hasn't been a real big arc, uh, especially since uh, when I had vehicular trouble the other night. Mm -hmm. uh, I made four phone calls and nobody uh, tow-wise could help me. So, okay. uh, like, I'm afraid to go too far and then end up, it, like I said, it cost me uh, a Appreciate thousand bucks tonight to get my uh, car back. Alrighty, take care, Decker. Yeah, nice seeing care. you. Call me if you need anything. Will do, thank you. Yeah, I stopped at the, the, the car place uh, where they sell vehicles near, not too far from the apartments there. And um, um, there was nobody there, and I, I was looking around, and I'll tell you, I was kind of disappointed. I mean, they have some nice looking cars, but they're all dirty. They're all, they're all, uh, they need washed. Um, you would think that a place selling high end vehicles like that would actually wash their cars. You mean H and O? Yes. Uh, so they do vehicle rentals. Uh, well, they need to keep their rentals clean too. Mm. I mean, that's that's a you know that's a big. No, I, I don't want to go in and try to rent a car. So who? How do you go about buying a car in the city? Find out like what pricing is and stuff like that. Well, we can show you that He's side. Eating this donut. <laughs> yeah, quickly munch it. Um, <laughs> yeah, so there's uh, uh, another one of the repair shops called Autos, kind of on the east side of town. Uh, yeah, I went down. I, I went down there for an application, and uh, they told me they weren't hiring, even mm. though there were just four. And uh, what's weird is I was at. Um, I, I, I I heard something. Uh, police officers were saying it's that there's a, never anybody at autos. Then there often is, but uh, they they normally get caught up in doing various other things during uh, certain times of day. So like it may just have been at that particular point in time there wasn't okay. anyone okay. there. Okay. Uh, fuck. Well, I really need to see if I can park my car here. I don't want some asshole to take it. One second. Yeah, yeah. Sweet. We'll just be chilling. It's not already gone.
Yeah, so uh, over by autos there's uh, PDM, um, and normally they've got they've got a catalog there. The pricing isn't correct because uh, uh, import price has changed a little bit, uh, but that'll at least give you an indication of roughly uh, what the pricing on a whole bunch of stuff is. Yeah, because I, 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 I'm, I'm happy I came into the city and I have an Emperor. Uh, it is nice to have a vehicle. I can, you know, you know, a couple friends want to go for a ride or whatever. I need to run somebody somewhere. Like, That's great. Yeah. You're making me run this donut off, right? Like, I mean, geez. if if you want a donut, have a donut. If you want two donuts, have two donuts. <laughs> I, I, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna uh, be uh, emailing something on my phone right for a yeah. moment. Sweet as. So we're going to uh, a place that I am co-owner of. Uh, it's called the Rose Garden. It's a florist boutique kind of thing. Oh, okay. Yeah, meet uh, a couple of friends there. Just got to pay the parking meter because uh, otherwise cops get a little bit pissy about it. Man, look at this. We're, we're like a hmm? 90s uh, pop group. We've got the <laughs> the dangerous one, we got the mysterious one, and we got Matt. <laughs> nice. <laughs> uh, um, come on in, just, uh, just ease yourself in. Give your eyes a second to... Oh, wow. Yeah. Welcome to the Rose Garden. Wow. This is amazing. Yeah. So, come up here. Meet a, meet a couple of new friends. Alright, cool. Alright, I think that's all the notes we got. I need, or and, um, I will... Hello, guys. What's up? Hello. 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 Hey, so uh, Matt, this is Scarlet, one of my Scarlet. Yep, best people in the city. Uh, Quentin, uh, he is always handsome and is just awesome. And of course, you know, Brooke. I just work here. Yeah. And uh, so just for context, uh, Matt's new to the city. Oh, yes. Welcome to Los Santos. Yep. How so thank you. Thank you. This place is amazing, guys. Thank you. A uh, couple of days. How new are you? A couple of days? Okay. He, he has eyebrows. I think that's a normal human thing. <laughs> Weird to highlight. No, that, they like shave your hair off and your eyebrows off. Make sure you don't have fleas and shit. When oh you my god. Yeah, like that, Im yeah. immigration yeah, they, yeah, they, is a lot different now. Mm -hmm. That did not yeah. happen to me when I came to. Oh my god. Oh yeah, yeah. Wow. Uh, I actually I am stopped by the. I think the about, first thing I did was I was asking um, the, one of the police short uh, being dispatchers something. Almost three and a half uh, hours. Was, I, oh my god! She's aggressive. She's been oh, aggressive wow. like that today. Sorry. Sorry, it's um. Wow. Uh, interviews. Angry. No interviews get a really really riled up. You just gotta watch out for this one. Oh, yeah. he has a little man bun. <laughs> wow. Okay, so she bun. said it. She said it, Dirk. I did. I did not. Oh, I'm sorry. What was that? Uh, Jesus Christ. Is it Matthew? <laughs> is it Matthew? Is your name? Yes. Yeah. What were you saying before? I don't started, remember. Um, well, she had so I don't remember. She knocked. She knocked me right off my rails. Sorry. Yeah. Sorry. My train has just been derailed. So. Yeah. <laughs> that gets me all riled up, you know. <laughs> um. Yeah. Before y'all. Oh came yeah, here, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Sorry. Yeah, I was going to say, I just when I went to the, uh, we were talking about eyebrows. We were talking about eyebrows. And uh, as soon as I walked into the police station to ask the person behind the desk a question, uh, they said, look up. And there was a sign that said, no eyebrows, no service. And somebody says, yeah, you got to go take care of that. And I was like, what? I got no eyebrows? Oh, my God, I forgot about that. So. Oh, so you did. Um, 
figured, okay. So you did I get forgot. Him shaved I mean, off. I, you did get him shaved off before you came here. Okay. That's yeah, I, I didn't. I, like, it just, it didn't, I, I don't know why. I I didn't think I was that gross of a human being, but, you know, I mean, when you're coming in from another city, I guess, I don't know. Yeah. I mean, welcome. An immigration process is very, very thorough. Yes. But yeah, uh, so uh, Scarlet uh, is one of the owners of this magical place. Uh, pretty much all of the design that's happening here is all thanks to her. And, and it's it's quite, I mean, it's beautiful. It really is. This is. This is awesome. I appreciate that. But yeah. Um, what else is, uh, where'd y'all meet at? Where'd y'all meet? Matthew at the apartments. Oh, y'all were just driving around the apartments. Yeah, we. Uh, yeah. Who's ZZ? Oh no! Oh, oh no! <laughs> oh, too cute. What is this? I know. This? I know. I know. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god, he's too cute. I'm sorry. Excuse me. Oh my god! I've ever seen Quentin get ten about seeing an animal before. Oh, yeah, I'm, thinking oh about, I'm, I'm thinking about getting the dog eventually. Right, so guarantee cute. Quentin's gonna Is remember the, the name of the dog. Is process still pretty, pretty hard, or? It's just expensive. Oh, I think, um, I think it starts with the pet rock thing, and then, um, yeah. Yeah. You know, I'd lose a pet rock. Do what? Well, get an animal. <laughs> yeah, uh, no, I'm just uh, right now. I'm kind of you know, I'm trying to absorb everything in you know, and uh, I just uh, yeah, I'm afraid I would lose my pet rock. <laughs> I assume you uh, go from like a rock to a goldfish. No, oh, it's a rock mm -hmm. to a, a pet. A long pet. Um, I mean, it's expensive really? as hell though. Yeah, it's expensive. Yeah. How much for like a, a for instance, like your uh, purebred husky here? How much? Shit, I don't remember. I think she was like a hundred or I mean, um, a hundred k or two hundred k or hundred fifty k or yeah. I think Husky's now. Oh yeah. yeah, no, you're right. It was like a hundred and fifty to hundred and sixty five or something. So I would go up to like two hundred k. It would take me six months in the city to earn that much money at Uwu. Oh, you work at Uwu? <laughs> I, I needed employment, and uh, they were hiring. Your second day in the city, you said, yeah? Oh, well, this is my, my third real day in the city. Uh, I had been in the city one time months ago. And then, uh, you know, life got hectic. I wasn't able to get back in, uh, you know, back More where photos. I lived. So, uh, but I was finally able to get back out here. Huh, okay. Wow, cool. I think uh, I think there's a, a 300K option for one of the pits. I don't know which um, dog it is. A I think it's a Rockwaller, maybe. Rockwaller. Yeah. Something like yeah, that. that one. Expensive. The poodles are probably, yeah. There's so uh, many of them in the city, though. Mm hmm. I, I was actually thinking about uh, uh, talking to Polio Pets about getting a Black Lab. Ooh. Oh! Juan had one. Named it Dog. Well, then oh. I can just. Adopt that one and give it yeah. a better caring and loving home. Scar Scarlet, I really feel like you and I need to talk. It's like she's <laughs> What's the side for, Scarlet? I, I don't know. He would, he would never tell me a name. He would just say it, he doesn't have a name. And he's just the my legal, dog. Like the name. And the he would like kind. Of, he would kind of treat it badly, and I would try to like give it loving because I always felt oh, neglected. I don't understand how people can neglect an animal. Well, he didn't neglect it, neglect it. It was just like... He'd yeah, throw like, him on the table or bitch. something. Yeah, yeah, yeah throw him on the table stuff. or something. Yeah, yeah. Like, he would take off driving without putting it in the car first. And I'm like, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> it seems like one, honestly. That makes yeah. me think of uh, National Lampoons. Yeah, pretty oh much. Oh, Except man. the the person involved is kind of a piece of garbage. <laughs> kind and, of. And... Am, am I putting that nicely? Like, kind, kind of you, a piece you, of garbage. You said the word kinda. You said the word kinda. So you did. Yeah. You did say kinda. Yeah, so that was, I guess, as nice as you could do it, I guess. 
I mean, oh uh, shit. I mean, I I could have been honest and called him a piece of fucking shit. But no, you said kind of a piece of fucking shit. But you said so. yeah, you could you could say kind of, and I mean it's still you know, that that doesn't say that one hundred percent you are a you know pos. It just gives you the uh, yeah. It it just makes us think that there's a small chance he could be a human being. <laughs> right. That's a good one. <laughs> That's a good one. So it, it almost leaves hope. Is it, yeah, I guess yeah, the way yeah. to say it. When you say kind of, it gives you a little bit of hope that the person isn't completely uh, what you, you know what they say. But I mean, from what you guys are saying, I, I I think the kind of is just being nice. You know what? I just had the mental image of uh, someone as Dobby from Harry Potter, and just exclaiming, <laughs> "Someone, someone has given Dobby clothes. Someone is free." <laughs> <laughs> I may have been giggling to myself for a good like minute and a half about that. <laughs> wow, wow, that's how long you were thinking on that one. Okay. No, okay. it came to me very, very quickly. I've just been giggling about it for a decent chunk of time. Nice. Look, we can go back to terrible like dad jokes. Okay, okay. So, oh, those that, that, those are stored no, no, in a no. database. No, 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 let's just not do that. Let's <laughs> avoid that for a, a bit. Um, how's Uwu for you? <laughs> that fucking got me. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, Quentin, well, well, I'm sorry. What did you say? Uh, how's Uwu for you? I mean, it's okay. You know, uh, try to keep the meals stocked and run back and forth. Uh, All right, just trying to keep, you know, keep the place. Uh, just change that back to. I don't know. Like, respectable? Uh, as you can, yeah. Um, do you like the people you're working with there? I don't have any complaints. Uh, I've never had any trouble with them. I think there's a guy named Dean there who's going to kill me because he gave me a hard time and I gave him a hard time back. And then he gave me a hard time and I said something about his mother. Uh, you know, th I thought we were joking around. Then I heard, no, he's going to murder you now. So uh, I just, you know. Do you I'm know his that. surname? I just thought they called him Dean. I mean, Hunt? I can think of a... Dean Hunt? I don't know. Dean Gilbury? Mm. I, I don't just think Dean would be in Yeah. I or mean, Gilbury. He was he it's... was tattooed up. I mean, yeah, I was tattooed like up in the thing. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah. Well, I'm a blank uh, blank slate, clean canvas, whatever you wanna. Yeah, you have a time, you'll be corrupt in the time. I, I I hope not. But also, you know, from what I'm making at Uwu, getting, you know, getting to any point where I can drive something better than my emperor and maybe, you know, branch out and get some nice stuff is going to be a while off. I tried talking to Veggie Dave about planting stuff. Uh, he was supposed to get back to me. He never did. Huh. Okay. Are you feeling the, uh, the farmer vibes coming in for a little bit? I respect that. Uh, I, I don't want to say uh, that I won't do something. I would like to be able to walk through the city and say, you know, I understand what that person's going through. They spent, you know, their entire weekend uh, planting seeds and, you know, uh, harvesting crops. And I want to be able to respect that. The same as uh, people say, like, working at Uwu or Burger Shot. I now see what they go through on a day-to-day -day basis. And, uh, you know, I, I, I will respect that when I go to the, uh, order something, people are in line, uh, it's taking forever. You got people complaining what's taking so long. I'm not going to complain. I understand. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. That's a good way to put it. That's a very good way to put it. It's a good, um, outlook yeah. to have in the city. Yeah. That's... Like I said, you just... that's actually a very endearing way of looking at it good good job well, thank you. you you still awake over there are you talking to scarlet oh, she's already slept here <laughs> <laughs> you've been robbed yet matthew no uh good the very man. first time months ago when i got into the city like like the one time uh i was taken hostage and rode around the back of a car for a while 
and uh, just before uh, they were going to take me to the bank, uh, my head popped, and I could really, uh, I didn't have the uh, capacity to get back in at that point. Mm. Oh, good. I mean, so uh, I, I did, I did, um, I did hit the uh, the would be uh, kidnappers up and did let them know what happened, and uh, they were they were cool about it. Can you text Maddie, um, Scarlet? Sorry, sorry to interrupt. Can you yeah, text Maddie to get some food at Roosters? Is she asking for someone? Yeah. On Twitter. Um. So, like, was it is it hard for you to was it hard for you to get a job in the city? Because we were just hired, oh, not hired, we just interviewed somebody that um, actually works at UU as well. He said he started yesterday. But, um, you know, new people in the city, it's, you know, you kind of got to get to know what you're doing right. or get to know the people you're, you know, you can't just like walk into a place and get a job, you know, especially super new to the city. Well, I uh, walked in uh, and I spoke to Jin at UU. And uh, I was. Not Mm -hmm. I can I can I, I I interview well. I usually okay. interview quite well. Okay. So I was I, I, I took the job, uh obviously because being brand new to the city, uh you gotta have work. You can't just, you know, run around all day and hope money's gonna fall in your lap. You you gotta be able to pay your bills. But ooh though. Well, uh being in the city I knew ooh. -oo. I knew burger shot i knew autos those were the three mm. places i knew and i went to autos and they told me they weren't hiring then i went to uwu and a nice guy named jin there uh hired me so uh it's work nice okay all right all right so what y'all been up to then um, besides meeting at the apartment you know just riding around or something yeah, like we. Uh, they showed me yeah. roost. Yeah. Showed you roosters. Yeah, so yeah, we. Yeah, they took uh, me to roosters. Just show me the place. Yeah, and Brooke and I came up here to uh, see what Scarlet's done, and uh, since the the holiday break, looks freaking cool in here. It, it's amazing. Um, and then uh, Brooke remembered, holy shit, I've got a dog. Um, well, I didn't. Oh my god, that sounds terrible. That that just sounded super terrible. Well, that that that's that, 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 that yeah, that's that's. Uh, since yeah. coming back to the city, you forgot that your dog was still at the apartment after being, like, clearing all of the customers and stuff. I apartment. She, I knew she was at the apartment, but I didn't know that you know I could secure her you know leash. Ah, uh, okay. Um, yeah. Sorry, my mistake. I got that one wrong. Um, oh yeah, secure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, yeah, uh, the bell, the leash. bell pockets. Yeah. As yeah. we like to call them. So, uh, yeah, we went down there, and uh, as we were come out of the apartments, we bumped into Matt, and we were like, "Hey, what's up?" It was the dog. The dog made the dog it gave the me the dog. courage to say hi. That's what they're <laughs> for. That's what they're for. They're social. They're social creatures, and we're you know we're not social creatures, so they help us be more social. That's, yeah. You know that's what. I think there's something about evolution uh, because dog and man have been uh, so closely intertwined for the last so many thousands of years that um, they actually there's something about their brain that matches our brain. That's why we get along so well. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I, I heard somebody ramble off the uh, explanation about it, but it was one of those kind of went in the left ear and went out the right ear after uh, science stuff came in. I normally like science stuff, but um they were it was kind of like you know the the teacher from ferris bueller's day off mm -hmm. kind of started to feel like that and then i just i was <laughs> like was oh. droning on and on yeah yeah <laughs> and i you know i'm I, like i said normally i can talk stuff all day long but that was just hard i heard that carrots are actually bad for your eyesight because like really? it's it, it's a whole play from like big pharma because they say carrots are great for your eyesight, uh, but when you actually look at uh, carrots themselves, at the top of the carrot is a stalk, at the back of your eye, what is there? 
there is your uh, optic nerve stalk that goes directly into your brain. So like, okay. you know, don't don't trust what Big Pharma tells you. Carrots are actually bad for your eyesight. Like, stay away from them. I, I, I know if one gets stabbed through your eye, it can kill you. So I saw a movie with that. That, that was, you know. I'm not going to stop eating my carrots and I have perfect yeah. eyesight. I mean, that's such yeah, a from... strange transit, a tr strange transition. Well, I, I, am... I like my Mexican carrots. Yeah, Mexican ah. carrots. Yeah, they oh. pickle them, they slice them, and pickle them in jalapeno juice. Fascinating. That it's probably like is delicious. That's probably really authentic, delicious. Authentic, authentic Mexican food. Like if you get street tacos, it's uh, common that they serve them with those. They're so fucking good. <gasps> that sounds I delicious. Some. Uh, why don't you just um you sound like you can make them can you or can you not i, I probably could yeah but no I you can't. know there are just some things that you can them, like i made my first apple crisp a couple months ago oh how that and go? oh i love an apple crisp the, it, it, here's the thing i ended up uh i i first did it as per recipe then the next time i did it uh i messed up because a single bar of butter is a half cup yeah. but it says a quarter on it for whatever reason and it turns well, out that's a quarter point, pound so i've mixed twice as much butter in the next time i made it kind of ramp you know, down no supervision um, uh i had somebody watching i might the actually first wrap time. it up uh, um, wrap it and, up here uh I, it was more it or less was just going to finish a off buttery the, awesomeness doing, mess uh, um sure that doing a couple of things my in the server, cholesterol and then uh, probably uh, changed like Dirk back abruptly to, back after to the that hand but i'm going to finish uh, up here and <laughs> <laughs> but you know, after that, I appreciate uh, everyone I finally from, got it right, coming and through. Uh, I do not put. I, I put half this the apples in fun and double the crisp. Coming back because and honestly, just getting it's back the into the part swing of, of things. Life. Appreciate everyone. I am just remember, salad with pork and it sucks that seventy-eight isn't here to uh, to hear this because this was always oh, a ritual. Yeah. Um, yeah. Remember. <laughs> Eat some food, mm, drink I'm some already, water, uh, get up, cool. stretch, move Thanks. around. It's good for you. If you can, get Jeez, outside, that, that I, touch I'm some little, grass, I'm get some fresh air. Uh, take like meds it. if you need to. And just, just most German importantly, uh, let me know you're a cook. Yeah. try I like, and be the I best like, version of yourself like that, that you can word, be. Schnitzel. I like that It's word, like yeah, salsa. Too. It's like salsa. It's fun to say. Yeah. Salsa's fun to say. You're right. Appreciate you guys. And I shall be back again. Okay, that's not fun. Hopefully yeah, tomorrow. Potato salad's kind of